I'm I'm going. Oh, you're already live. <clears throat> I'm going in. Alrighty. I'm going in. I'm going in. Do you understand? Uh, my bad. I had to put the slides on, dog. Bro, slacking. I had to put my slides on. My bad, dog. I had to get because you know we about to slide in it. Okay. And I'm about to slide. Bitch, I'm about to slide in. Ooh. And you guys can see me cool on the camera? Y'all can see me? Am I good? Am I paused? Bro, you, looking, bro, you okay. are looking cute as ever. Let me fucking tell you. It was making me sad that you weren't responding at all. Oh, though. I'm You'd not even real. live. Chill. Um, <coughs> sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm where's my chat at, dog? I can't see my chat. Oh. Yeah, I wonder if... Okay, so everyone who's listening on Spotify and shit and who doesn't really understand what's going on, we're adding some new flavor to the podcast tonight for you guys. Yeah, this is episode 36, right? Damn, Almost. 36, dog? So Bro, looks here good. Look at this. Episode 36. Oh, tell me that shit don't look. Tell me I didn't cook. Yeah, that's pretty good. Tell I me like. I didn't cook. I mean, I should probably put myself in the middle, but, you know, I'm going to let Zero take the spotlight tonight. I'm gonna let zero take the spotlight tonight. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm gonna let zero take the spotlight tonight. Never was a Harry Potter person. What? Oh That's my good. god. Good, well, needs a chat. You gotta hit a you gotta hit a rewatch though. Like as is I remember watching it when I was a kid. Hitting the rewatch, it's different. It's just better. This makes you feel like an adult. You know? It just feel good getting all the references, following the story. It's it's so good. Harry oh, Potter is overrated. Is. Get out of the chat. Hello. Uh, yeah, you can. Bye. Kill yourself. Um, whoa, right. whoa. Not like that. Whoa. 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 Don't do that. <laughs> uh, don't do that. My intrusive thoughts won in that moment. I'm so sorry, people. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My intrusive thoughts. <laughs> oh, shit. That is absolutely horrible. That should never be said. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, that should I, absolutely net, bro. You should see how many fucking. Screw I need to get another monitor. I need That's another like monitor. Like that? I need another. Bro, monitor. I've got fucking three windows open just right here, and Discord is not even open. <laughs> how many screens are you guys operating off of? I'm. I got. I'm on kick, man. Let me tell you something, dog. Your boy upgraded. Okay, we live on Instagram. We live on Facebook. We live on Kick. And we're live on YouTube. Get fired That's up, good, bro. That's hype. Hey, people need to wait. hear. People need to hear what the fuck we got going on. Demo, hit us with the intros, baby. Let's go. Let's get fired. Yo, up. thank you so much for uh, watching, tuning in to the usual Tuesdays. Usually on Tuesdays, and today it is the case. <clears throat> today we got save corpse, got left and right beautiful people. If you're on Instagram, up and below me. Listen, we're on everywhere. Thanks to save oneer. Um, we're gonna be talking. Everything Harry Potter. We got two of the mega fans on the left and the right here. Uh, I just finished a giant rewatch and uh, very excited to get into it. Had a question uh, and I didn't want to go too, too deep into it when uh, me and Save were at work because I was starting to get into the conversation that I wanted to have online about Harry Potter um, and we'll kind of dive into it, but partially going to do a little quizlet to see who's the biggest fan. I'm not going to rely on that too, too much. In my opinion, I feel like that's a cool little secondary thing, but um, some main questions that I want to kind of ask about, and also get your guys' excitement and insight on the on the franchise itself, because both of you have read all the books and seen all the movies, so I think it's interesting. Gang, gang, let's do it. Hey, yeah. I'm with that, bro. I'm absolutely with that. So, I mean, I mean, where do you want to start, dog? Because you know, it's still fresh in your mind. I mean, I I haven't watched the series. It's been. It's been a little while. Yeah. Um, I. So one of the most interesting questions that I had that I think is interesting and save kind of answered it a little bit um, earlier today. Um, should the love potion wouldn't in mm. in like the real world, if, if magic really existed, wouldn't the love potion be illegal? I would imagine so. I'd imagine it would be illegal. Um, and I want to say, like, ethically, what do you guys think about the love potion? Just to start. It's a wild potion. Uh, yeah, I think, well, 
I don't know, because I think in in a weird sense, depending on how strong it is, um, because there's love potions, and then there's ones that create deep uh, infa- infatuation. So I think, like, to an extent on a sliding scale, uh, you already kind of have that in the world, like, with alcohol and drugs. But but this is, like, so this specific, this is, like, That's literally. That's actually a really good point. I didn't even think of that point. But I feel like alcohol, you could always kind of like, I kind of knew what I was doing, unless you're blacked out drunk or like roofied or something like that. I was saying to save, isn't the the love portion, isn't the, well, (laughs) isn't the love potion uh, equivalent to like, almost like rape? Like, that's insane. Oh, okay. How is it equivalent to rape if there's no action? Well, that's about, I didn't know the limitations of it, right? So I didn't know that it stops at a certain point. Like if you, if you cross a threshold, then it wears off. I wasn't aware of that. I didn't know that that had happened. Um, I thought the love potion happened well within like the, what? If, what do you mean if you cross a threshold? Didn't you say earlier today that like it wears off or something? Yeah. After wears, while, yeah. It's, it's not, it's not permanent, but what I'm, what I'm saying is. What do you mean that there's a threshold? Like, if we start to oh, have sex, it doesn't no, wear no, to, off. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So that's what I was saying. Like, if you get to the point where you're like, all right, bet. And then you pull through with the action. Now, afterwards, the person's like, well, I wasn't in the right mindset. And not because of Essential. alcohol. Not because of alcohol. We're not talking about that. We're talking about a emotionally and thought-altering substance that alters it in a specific direction not in general loopy oh i wasn't in my mind right mindset i was literally you coerce me with this potion to love you or to be yeah, infatuated it, with you it should be illegal because <clears throat> i i hear what you're saying it's not something that wears off if it was a love potion if it was a substance that would literally lead you to, com- to be compulsed by the words that i say to do the things mm-hmm. that i ask right mm-hmm. So if you take that, that is one of the unforgivable curses. The, the, exactly. Right. Um, Imperial. Right. He, he, I was, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so to me, if, it, if that's an unforgivable curse, because you're forcing somebody to do the things that you're – to do your bidding, you know what I mean? What's yeah, the yeah. difference if you're just doing it saying you have to dedicate your life to me, you're going to love me, we're going to have kids, and you're fucking – No, but you know, it doesn't work like that, though. It doesn't. It doesn't. But in in that in a case, if it did in in a case if it did if it did work that way, then it should be a hundred percent be illegal. But if, that that's why I said that's why I said it shouldn't be illegal. Because like doesn't. if it, if Matt imagine yeah because it doesn't work like that. It, and it's not like it's not like you're you're putting somebody under a a spell to fall in love with you. You're not putting somebody. Like they're not gonna fucking do everything that you tell them. No, and that's not what I mean. But the initial emotion of them falling in love with you isn't within their nature by default. They could fall in love with you later, possibly, but that takes a lot more work effort that you have to do a lot more. It's just love bombing, dog. But you could also no, 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 because you could also give this to anybody, somebody who like to their core hates you, and they'll love you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the whole thing with the whole Ronald Weasley. Um, yeah, that with, whole where where he's like, uh, wasn't oh, it? Oh yeah, yeah. Harry and shit. Yeah, like you know, like and then it turns into this whole fiasco. He ends up getting poisoned, all the shit. He almost um, dies. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that's a part of the problem too. Like it can literally change. Yeah, like you could hate this person, but if you drink this potion, then it can literally change your whole mindset about them. You might not even know them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and it'll change your whole mindset about them. So are we all in agreement that it shouldn't be illegal? No, it should be illegal. I think it should. I think love potions a hundred percent. I disagree, bro. Because they, because they sell it as a gag too. At, at the Weasley shop, they sell it as a gag. That's they, wild. Oh, that, that means it's like that it selling can't, roofies can't as be, a gag. It can't be. <laughs> <laughs> or chloroform rags. Hey, my local love, my local yeah. gag shop is the alley, dog. I'm just saying. In yeah, London, true. In London, doctors prescribe um, MDMA during couples therapy. Oh, that's kind of cool. That would and, be so interesting. And, and, and I used to wonder, like, hey, how is this? No, yeah, no, no, I'm no. Like, hey, how is this even legal in this magical world? Because, okay, think about it. A love potion gave you Tom Riddle. You know what I'm saying? 
So haven't we learned from the past that maybe tricking somebody into loving you isn't the best idea? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's probably not. And that good. works on a muggle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wait, wait. What do you mean? I'm missing. I'm missing some context. What do you mean? How did so, uh, how did a love Tom potion? Riddle, yeah. Tom Riddle, who is Lord Voldemort, right, was born of a love potion. And that's where a lot of people think that he has his disconnection with empathy is because he was, uh... he, was, he was born of a love potion. And his mom was giving it to this muggle man, Tom Riddle, and um, was giving it to him, giving it to him over like this whole span of time. And once she stopped giving it to him, he left her. Damn. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. This cannot be okay. There's no way. So that's exactly Why? how I because thought it would Listen, play. listen, listen. Once you stop giving it, they leave. Yeah, but, but you then in- robbed them from all of their time. And this guy produced a child that he didn't even want because he was under the influence of of of, of a potion that he wasn't what? privy to. Less wrong. <laughs> Let me tell you, because there's some people that I'd want to have some babies with. Yeah, yeah, but you can't coerce yeah, them little, like this. That was a little, you, you know, the art, the, you know, that was a little, but okay. That was like Jafar. Oh, like the what if it will marry me? <laughs> you will have a baby with me. But is, question, it worse, oh, go, go. is it worse if the person knowing, is it a problem if the person knowingly takes a love potion? Knowingly? Now, I think that's way different. So this is what I was going to say about the M- MDMA. That was prescribed by the uh, uh, British doctors, B- British therapists. Okay, so if this is true, no, I don't know if this is true, but if this is true, I can see a world where that's okay because now it's two consenting adults being like, you know what, we want to have this trip or we want to have this experience together, and they both sign off on it. That is way different. Somebody in my chat said, um, "Question: What if it was only legal to be sold to women and not men? Still not good, but interesting." That's sexy. That's what he said. I hate women, so they should probably be forced go, to these things to do as I say. Go make me a um, <laughs> No shot. <laughs> but I, I think it's way different. So if two consenting adults off of the influence of this <laughs> of this uh of this potion were to come together and be like, we want to go on this potion together, I think that'd be way different. I don't know why you would want to do that though. Let's take the trip together, baby. Yeah, like I wonder if it would just be more intense. What would it like if you already love each other? Now you're just the, talking about drugs. Would the intensity just be at eleven? You know what I mean? For like, like well, I mean, isn't it the same thing as like let's pop these roofies and just fuck? I don't know if people pop roofies and fuck. I'm not gonna lie. But what? But you already compared the love potion. <laughs> I don't think they roofies. Oh, what happened to corpse? We lost audio. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. I can't hear you. I've hear never you. heard anyone be like, yeah, I'm about to pop this roofie with my lady, bro. Yeah, bro. Never in I my get, life. Jam. I get to see ecstasy. I could see different things. It's I'm called KY. Way. Wait, what's KY? KY? Like what? You don't know what KY jelly is? Is that lube? Oh, you never tried sex lube? Oh, it's lube. KY. I just didn't know the brand like by name. Uh, bad. Bad. Yeah, like, uh, his and that, hers? That's an OG of the sex game, bro. Yeah, you never had the his and hers joint? Not by not by KY. Yo, shout out to the people watching on Facebook. Is there, bro, is there, is, another, is there another company that makes his I don't and know. Hers? I, I don't know. I, maybe I Please don't. tell me you're not using Durex, dog. No, I'm not using it. Failure anymore. of all condom companies. Yo, Durex has a 60% Listen, fail rate. You, you gotta go through some Durex before you, you upgrade to the Trojans, okay? What's the wait, hold on. What's the other joint that they give you at Planned Parenthood? Lifestyle. Lifestyle. Those things are. Yeah, that takes bad. me back. Yeah, that takes me, bro. You ever? We want to talk about getting dry. Let me tell you. All right, Yvonne, <laughs> welcome to the stream, buddy. Big yikes. Go to bed. I'm just playing. Thank you so much for joining. Bed. Thanks so much for joining. Oh, bro. hey, I want to take a second. Hopefully, you're doing. I, I want to take a second. I don't know. I don't cool. know if in here. I'm like looking around to see if he's like in the room. Um, Jordan, we love you, man. Jordan, we love you, man. Uh, oh yeah, Jordan. Yeah. Uh, supporter of the podcast, supporter, <laughs> huge, huge supporter of Save, especially man. Um, but I've known him a long time. He's a big supporter of the That's usual. I just want to say, I don't want to say big too ups. much on on the internet, but we love you, man, and we're here for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, shout out to Milkman too. Hey, uh, I, did, oh, I didn't realize. I yeah, and I didn't realize that I wasn't subscribed to his. Um, that I wasn't subscribed to his. Uh, his podcast and I actually watched 
um, the episode with Sam, and I watched the episode with you, and then I started the other ep- the, his second ep- or his third episode. I just ha- I haven't made it all the way through yet. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, shout out to them doing what they can do with the production that they currently have, and you know I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, to what they do with the podcast. It's it's absolutely it's very good. I I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So shout out to the milkman. He was one of our guests, and yeah, yeah I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be good a good shit. one. Definitely gonna be a good one. Good shit. Yeah, shout out. I don't All have right. anybody to shout out. Good What's shout the out next to my question, mom, baby. Shout out to your mom. <laughs> she just watched she just got done watching our last last podcast. So shout out to your fucking mom. True. I'm zero. a zero. She's got a oh bro, you guys want to hear something crazy? My mom agreed to take an edible with me. Whoa, wait. Wow. Are you gonna take an edible? I don't know, but I feel like I have to now no. that my mom agreed to it. <laughs> You're gonna freak out. What are you talking about? Wait, don't you freak out? On, I thought you got freak, freaked out when you got high. Yeah, but what if I drink a little bit while I'm doing it? Then I'm yeah, gone. I don't know if that makes it better, man. Just take a <laughs> small God, amount. I freak out when I do. Usually with edibles, I don't do well. Um, <clears throat> they're just I do like five milligrams. Do something really small. Really five really milli vanilli grams. My mom yeah, has never touched marijuana in her life. She's gonna want to do that's something crazy. really small. Yeah, light, bro. Oh my god! If she, if she milli, eats an dog. entire gimme gummy, bro. If she eats an entire gummy, it's wrapped. Five millis. That's it, dog. I'll just go get some five milligram joins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That'd be good. Wait, right? no shot. We're turning down edibles and shaming, and then talking about love potions. <laughs> <laughs> hey. right, I want to hear. I want to hear what else you think, dog. What else do you think should be illegal? That is legal in the magically, magically wizardly, wizardly world. I can't even fucking talk. Bro. I, <laughs> so let me shut the fuck up. Part of me wanted to look up uh, different spells and stuff. Um, there was one. I feel like just a lot of the mind altering spells should be forbidden. In my head, like, um, what is it? Obliviate, I think, makes you just like. Forget. forget and like mm-hmm. loopy yeah. um also um wait obliviate and then there was also one that she uses that hermione uses in deathly hollows 2 i think it was 2 where she makes her fa- her parents forget she ever existed everything goes okay. away and that that curse is irreversible or that spell is irreversible oh really me yeah. and my girlfriend were like i th- i wonder if she goes back to her home and like re- reverts the spell that's oh. like Done, done Just deal. Or good. You can, she can never bring that, that back. So oh, every man. memory of her and every existence of her in their world is now gone. What was the dude? What was the dude's name again from the second movie? Um, he was like the anti. He was like the sub antagonist, and he was supposedly like so profound. But what really what he did was use mind erasing a mind erasing spell. Lockhart. Lockhart. Uh, what was it? I knew it was like lock something. But what was his first name? Fucking. Gilroy or something? Lockhart? Gilroy, 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 something. Gil? Fucking Gil, this dude. Hey, fucking (laughs) Gil, dog. Fuck this fool, Gil, dog. Um, Leroy. We're going to call him Leroy Lockhart. (laughs) Fucking Leroy. Gilderoy. It is Gilderoy. Um, Apparently, I was going to say really quick. So Grandmaster says that, uh, to be fair, um, only inexperienced wizards can be affected by this mind control spell. Is this true? That's remember. only if you train, as Snape was training Harry. Ah, uh, for the mind. Not allow people into your brain. Yeah, the practice. oh, so it's like a, like but a as barrier. as Corpse was just about to say, Lockhart, he he did make it into the brains of some very experienced wizards that did not have that training. Yeah, mm. or so he was it, able to overcome them. Yeah, too. Like you got to think like surprise attack compared to going head to head. And then occlumency, the practice of, of occlumency wasn't just like it wasn't as much as like protecting your memory against spells, but it was to protect the infiltration of the mind. Right. So that's I think those are kind of a little those are a little bit different, but they kind of play around in the same same ball field. Um, but, and that's but, what occlumency is what. Snape it, was training Harry with for yeah, or what? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because they were starting to peer into each other's minds through their dreams. And that's mm, why he was having okay. all these nightmares and shit, and like he could see stuff. <clears throat> but some of those thoughts were put there by Voldemort, so mm. that's why you 
you use Aquamancy to, to like work against it, I guess. Yeah, because essentially they were one. Am I saying that right? Yes. I, okay. I have no idea, but it sounds right. <clears throat> so, um, I had a little bit of a stroke right now, guys. I worked through that, but <laughs> it was fine. good. Oh, here. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, as far as I mean, you can't really have that many illegal stuff in magic because there's so many different counters to it all. Hmm, that's true. You get what I'm saying? Well, and there's love- so many defenses. I fucking love Harry Potter. <laughs> I, uh, I was just gonna say, the the potion in particular was one I was interested in because you could like. Slip that in a drink, pour that on like some cereal. I don't know. Like just yeah, put but it that's in like stuff. saying that's like saying liquid luck should be illegal then too. Um, it's illegal in sports in sports games and or betting. That would suck. It's it the is only place I would want to use it, bro. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, it is can I take that's, it? That's could, cool. It is. Could could yeah. I take it and go play the lottery, or is it yeah. like wizard? Oh. You no. can't. Oh. It's illegal for betting and for sports. Well, but I thought like betting in the wizarding world. I didn't know if it was like across the board yeah, among. No, yeah, no betting in general. Betting in general. Oh damn! What Rip. the fuck? You want to be rich in the Muggle world? <laughs> what wizards? Don't wizards? Some wizards live in the I Muggle world. Green gods, huh? Me? <laughs> yeah, they. Yeah, do. but you make more cash as a wizard. They got gold. <laughs> they got gold. They got gold. gold. They got gold. They got gold, bro. You can't do anything. They got fucking gold. How are you beating that? Yeah. Um, I, I think I think the uh, the fun part about magical law is is because you kind of see it like in the Fantastic Beast movies, like magical mm-hmm. laws. Um, I think it's funny because it's like most of it just kind of boils down to the practice. Like the magic is the magic. It's the practice and the use of it that makes it issues. You know what I mean? Like there's always mm-hmm. things that are very peculiar about like they don't give a fuck if you use your wand in front of a muggle just as long as you're over the age of 17 you know like they don't really care about this just as long as you're not doing that you know um there it seems like a lot of that and like dumbledore even has like that whole famous statement of like what is it uh words are the most exhaustible <clears throat> use of magic you know cause oh yeah, yeah use cause both to inflict pain and remedy it so i was like Bro, that was a beautiful scene in the train station when he says that. That's like the best scene. I have a question. That was yeah. a beautiful scene. Because I've never watched it. I've only watched like one Fantastic Beast movie. Do they show how Dumbledore killed his sister in the Fantastic Beast movies? No. I don't think they so. Do they even talk, talk about it? They talk about it heavily. They talk about it, yeah, yeah. Heavily, you said? I think they always allude to it. And then like it's always like, in the next movie, you'll probably maybe see it. Yeah, in the last because that was they're, that's they're something old. that they fucking steal from you in the fucking movies, movies because they show a fucking picture of her and then they don't say shit yeah, about yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they they drop it heavy when they when you first meet uh, Dumbledore's brother of like, oh, he gave her up or or something along those lines. like he gave her everything but attention or the time of day or something like that. That was like, oh shit. Like, bro, you know what? You know what they fumbled the ball on, and I thought about it after the last podcast. Is is they fumbled in the Deathly Hallows about how OD the fucking invisibility cloak was, like how truly powerful it was. It was one of the Deathly Hallows. Yeah, it was. That is true. You couldn't see him on the. What the fuck does he? What the fuck does he use it for? You know what I mean? What did he use it for? His no, but the only reason that you can't see it on the Marauders map is because James had it, and James helped make the Marauders map. Well, I would just remember in the book that was one of the connections that they made, and the connection yeah, because that- James because James had the the invisibility cloak, and then when him and Sirius and I think Pettigrew and somebody else, Lupin, I don't remember who else. Oh, it was Lupin. Yeah, when they made the Marauders map. That's why they made it that way so that they couldn't see the cloak. Yeah, but you could see it. But that was to me that I always thought that was a, a weird thing where it was like, even what was it? <clears throat> I think his, I think it was when he was last going to the school and he lands in the village, right, where he before he gets to Albert Ford's house. And one of the Death Eaters tried to use the fucking summoning spell on his cloak. And uh the way JK Rowling wrote it was like it didn't flinch. Or it, yeah, like it didn't it didn't flinch under my fingertips. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, ooh, that's fucking... Like, it was such a cool way for her to write it that way. Like, like it was fucking concrete, but soft. Like, it can't move. Like, it, it didn't move. It's not affected by this by this magic at all. Because it's a, it's a hallow. It's one of the hallows. Like, you know what I mean? And I think... So what do you think really of... That. So, speaking of the hallows, and I was kind of touching on this with zero earlier what do you think of the concept that that dumbledore was actually death nah <laughs> nah i mean he's the one who he's the one who put every hollow every hollow where it needed to be i guess you know, time that he could have be been used. the he could have been the the master of death right that's the whole deathly hollow storyline of like or the master possesses of all three yeah sure. yeah death itself <clears throat> though, i don't agree with um, I what one thing that kind of got me was that he wasn't so far off from you know Voldemort when it came to like the Hallows and what what him and Grindelwald were really doing from back in the day. Um, yeah, he he did believe in magical power and like its supremacy, like you know what I mean. And where Voldemort split up his souls in different ways to, you know, like combat death and its longevity Dumbledore went and found these fairy tale items no, he found the super saiyan items bro no, that, uh... he said I'm not getting beat you're not fucking <laughs> he said oh, okay <laughs> on, okay on, on that on that note right there right about how cl- the closeness of Voldemort and and Dumbledore let me ask you this because towards the end in the last three movies, they really look make Dumbledore look like a fucking prick. Like they make no. him look like a horrible fucking guy. Yeah. Do you do you gen, like with as manipulative as he was to everybody, to the ministry, to Harry, to Snape, McGonagall, to everybody, do you genuinely believe that Dumbledore was a good guy? Yeah. Ooh. Wait. Baseline, <laughs> just what I remember and have seen. I think he's a good dude, but uh, but yeah, there were some moments where I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck, dude?" Especially Bro, he when he told Harry... Snape that he, he was supposed to be slaughtered. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He raised yeah. him like a pig for slaughtering. That's li- yeah, that's literally what Snape said in his memory. So uh, Harry, at some point, spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen it, it's a fucking <laughs> nineteen-year-old movie. Right okay? oh, go watch fuck? it. Um, <laughs> yeah, Snape dies, and then he gets like his tears uh, in, in like a little vial, and he goes to see because the, in case in the tears are his memories, and it's a, this it's this whole like overarching storyline that shows that Snape was actually on Harry's side the whole time. And then shows uh, some of the like crazy words that Dumbledore said of just like, like yeah, fuck it, bro, he needs to die. Rip, that sucks. You know, well, what's he crazy? Is, like he goes, he not like that. Patrick. I'm so, saying it like I say it, but you know, that's not what literally what he said. You set the boy up like pig for slaughter, and he goes, yeah. he asks him, "Don't tell me that you've grown fond of the boy." Yes, that's exactly. Doesn't address him by and name, then, and then and then what does he do, dog? Foof. Oh and then my god! Throwing his dog. That that part was like. <gasps> wait, wait, yeah, that actually, actually that actually went over Rickman, man. Rest that, in that, peace, Rickman. That went over my head a little bit. So, him showing him that his Patronus was a doe. Yes. In same the, as Lilies. Same as Lilies. Yes. I don't get the the because I feel like that's supposed to be like a big moment. He's like, my Patronus is the same as Lilies. Like I was really in love with her. What else does that signify? Because I know. It, when he when Harry finds the uh, sword of Gryffindor, mm-hmm. that doe appears, mm-hmm. and then it's a stag, no, right? Bro. Oh, it's a stag. It's a stag that appears in the lake. I'm pretty Are sure. You sure? I'm pretty sure it was Snape's doe. I thought it was a I'm doe because sure. the stag I'm has sure it's a stag. antlers. I'm pretty sure it's a stag, but we can look. Or oh, wait, no, no, the stag is in. Uh, with the that's Dementors, true. with the yeah. Dementors, yes, yeah, yeah, the Dementors. and but then, that's because he was he was yeah. bouncing back and forth. Time jumped, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but he time in, jumped. Yeah, yeah, but that was with the Dementors. No, you're right. That was with the Dementors, and that's the first time we yeah, see yeah, the Dementors. On. This is a good question. But I don't get uh, the significance of like them having the same Patronus, uh, like animal. Um. Well, the Patronus charm is based off of happy memories. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, okay. so you have so this it's... embodiment of happy memories, which in, embodies her. You know what I mean? Gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, his so love yeah. for her was so strong. 
Yeah. That he copied his her Patronus. Yeah. It kind of just happened. Yeah, it was though. It was. It was. It was. It was a though. You're right. Okay. Yeah, in yeah, the yeah. book, though, he did think. I I do remember him thinking that it may have been a stag, but as he got closer, realized that it was a doe. Yeah, because his. And I know that he. And then it, with the the mentor part, he thought that it was his father, but it was really it, him. It was, it was him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was future it was himself. <laughs> yes, Yo, yeah, it was future. That him. movie was sick. <laughs> that movie. That movie was absolutely amazing. Yeah, absolutely I love. And then a part of me was like, why don't you bring the time turner back? It's so useful, dog. It's so well, I'm useful. trying to think. I'm trying to think why the fuck. First, okay, we'll get back to the time turner in a second. I'm trying to figure out why the fuck you didn't start at three. I know. So I, I should have started at three. I should have started at three. But we didn't. So we're we're going to go back. We're going to watch th- three because three is a legendary movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but the time turner was, again, another plant. From Dumbledore. Yeah, bro. Dumbledore is playing he, he, 90 he gave chess. Dumb, he gave Hermione the the time turner and knew what the fuck was going to happen with it. Because of, you know, not only did they save Buckbeak, but there was very hmm. prevalent stuff that happened with that. With, and with Hagrid, you know, not getting in trouble again. With, uh, the you know, Hermione standing up for Malfoy. Plus, the Dementor... You know, the Dementors uh, not killing Harry and Sirius. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that happens with that time turner, bro. It's fucking wild. See, I think... Um, he... Also, lear- the learning... What, uh, Hermione... Le- what did she fucking learn in the uh, restricted section? She learned something in the restricted restricted section. He- Jordan said he, did, he gave it to minute. another professor and then gave it to Hermione. No, I thought because there's oh, even I remember, definitely gave it to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I even remember him saying like one hundred percent gave it to Hermione. He was like, "Oh, I think three turns ought to do the trick or something like that." Yeah. And then, and then she like <laughs> later in the movie, doom, 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 and then they go back in time. Um, I think now this is like one of my own theories. Is is I think he had um I think he had talents in divination. I think he, I, there, there, there's just no way, bro, that he could just orchestrate everything so perfectly to a T. Wait, can, real quick, explain what divination is because I have no idea. Divination is like um, prophecy telling, oh. um, uh, uh, tea, tea leaf reading. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hmm. Jordan's right. Oof, rip. I thought I was right. But I did, I did think he had a. What's McGonagall? Oh, shit. McGon- I think. No, but I think that's I think that's in the book. I don't think that's a movie oh. thing. It, her, uh, yeah, because I, I yeah I remember uh, Dumbledore definitely gave it to her in the movies. Shout out mm-hmm. Professor McGonagall. Let's go on the board. She was badass. <laughs> oh yeah, she was one of the best. Vera Vera. <laughs> he turns his rat into a cup. That shit's nuts. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I remember Vera that. Vera. But yeah, bro, the time turn is OP. Why didn't we get that more? Well, I know why. Because it's it's too OP. It's so good. But and you could only be that misses out on a lot of shit, bro. There's so much shit that misses that's missed out, bro. They destroyed. They destroyed. I think like a whole room of time turners in the Ministry of Magic. I think in the first war with Voldemort, if I remember right, because that's how Wait. he. I think that's how he found out about the fucking. It was around the time he had found out about the prophecy that was made. And think about it. Wait, wait. Think about it. If you did use a time turner, it's like the butterfly effect. You ruin everything. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You you'll live in a paradox for all of time. Well, if you had no, because if the time turner works the way that we've seen it work, you would always be exactly where you should even if you didn't know what you were doing. Because Harry didn't know that he was going to produce the Patronus, and then he did, because he thought, oh, shit, I'm the only one here. And then uh, Hermione didn't know to, what was it, like throw the rock at Malfoy? And then she did, because either she remembered it happening, or it was at, it was at, she knew it uh, had to have happened. At the window, it was at, at Hagrid's. At, yeah, oh, Hagrid's. at Hagrid's, you're right, you're right, yeah. Or no, she throw, yeah, she throws it at Harry, right? Or somebody, because I thought Herself. she hit somebody. She it's eats not. herself or Harry. It's one of them. Ah, uh, yeah, it's one of them. No, oh, yeah, no, no, it's it was Harry. Harry. It's Harry. It was Harry. Yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, that really goes, hurt. He goes, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, you'll always have this. Sure, it'll always be somewhat paradoxical. I'm sure as long as you don't interact with yourself and be like, what's up, bro? Um, you're pretty chill. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I mean, I feel like everything would be good. Yeah. I think. I mean, no, there would be things. Like, think about it. If you went back in time and killed Tom Riddle, There'd be so so many yeah. different storylines yeah, that that's true. wouldn't equate correctly. That's true. Bro, well, that's, we talk that, about- that okay, but that's a paradox because you can't go back in time and kill a pivotal reason why you're going back in time. That's the Hitler effect of like, if you go back in time to kill Hitler, would you ever go back in time to kill Hitler because Hitler never existed? <laughs> oh, that's Hitler. That's what I'm saying. That's why the time turner is not that OP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it's OP. Let's just keep it it's a OP, book. But, but there's not much you can change. Yeah, it'll probably always happen the way it happened. Exactly. But what were you going to say? I interrupted you, Save. What was I going to say? I have no idea. Oh, can we talk about Malfoy? What a What's bitch. True? I don't think Malfoy's a bitch, though, bro. He's a He's bitch. He's low-key dangerous. He, He's a bitch. He, I think he was just. Oh, he was the man was scared for his fucking life. He was. All right, all right. He was scared. Listen, I'm not saying I'm, was scared, I'm any better, bro. If I was in and the face of Ultima, I'd be like, it, listen, bro. bro. If somebody told you like, hey, you're gonna do this, you're gonna fall in the footsteps of your father, or I'm gonna fucking kill you. Yeah, you have no choice. I'd and like, then the same bet. person <laughs> that you're supposed to fuck with is fucking with your family. Come on, dog. You're not gonna be a bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that wasn't. I mean, that yeah, wasn't. Yeah. That wasn't truly who Draco was, dog. If you watch the movie and you read the books, that's not truly who Draco was. Draco was a good boy. He was genuinely was a good boy. He seemed like he did always want to be a good kid. He did, because at the at the end of the day, he wasn't strong enough, or not not that he wasn't strong enough. He just wasn't willing, or didn't have him in it. He didn't have it in him to be a, this like Death Eater person. Um, that his family was and like he was he just so happened to inherit that type of life Um, yeah and if i remember right in the books it was kind of written where it was like it as if he was paying for his father's failures as a death eater type of thing that's exactly what it was because his dad was just as much of a bitch bro yeah he was a wuss if not he like bigger bitch i was gonna say did he like choose the life because if he chose the life he's a bitch for real Lucius? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, or was I think it like his background. dad? Okay, okay. Uh, no, there's a there's a different there's a, a different background story that goes around why he was a death eater. I don't remember exactly why or how it happened, but it wasn't like a extreme by choice thing, but it also wasn't like, oh yeah, I don't want to do this type of thing. From what I yeah. remember seeing and and again, this is like always like fandom, you know, p- p- Potter leaks or whatever. Um is is supposedly like he was like in his heyday before Draco was born, and so once Draco was born, shit got a little weird, because that's also around the same time Harry was born. That's also all the you know. So these other events also happened all around the same time. So he just put all his focus into his son. That's why in the graveyard scene where he's like, "Oh, if there would have been a whisper of your whereabouts," and he's like, "Oh, there's been more than whispers." Uh. So it's kind of like, well, yeah. Plus. Plus, they all thought that Voldemort was dead, right? So they had no- they had nothing to really serve their legion, like their legions to. So they were like, "Oh, we're just gonna fucking chill. This motherfucker ain't coming back. You know what <laughs> I mean? We're chilling. We don't have to be bad no more. Let's go live our fucking lives." And then that fucking that call comes through, and you're like, "Well, fuck. I, you know, I'm bound to this. I got it. I have to answer this now." I wonder, did they have any uh, allegiance in terms of like to the point where you know how in uh, Snape um, he does the unbreakable promise or whatever what is it called unbreakable vow yeah the unbreakable vow do you think all of them had to do like unbreakable vows to be like i will commit my life to whatever you say or whatever 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 it may well, have you been er- you earn the mark of the debt you earn the dark mark bro like that's your that's your allegiance there yeah but you is cannot that... you cannot stop pledging at that point because look at no. fucking um what's his face crumbs teacher and look at fucking snape like they still had an allegiance to Voldemort, but you know some of them were playing spy. 
Yeah. Some of them, some of their allegiance, but they still had to answer the call. You know what I mean? Yo, what a what a low key legend Snape as well. Like, I don't know to be able to play Best both sides as well as he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best character in the whole story. He because played he both did sides the right, so well. He did the right thing, bro. He already knew how Dumbledore already knew how it was gonna play out. That's why. He, that's why Snape made the unbreakable vow. Mm-hmm. He already knew how it was going to play out. They were on to Snape already, especially fucking Bellatrix. She knew she knew Snape was a rat, bro. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why she even said it, huh? She like came up and she was like, then do it, bitch. Do the unbreakable vow. Mm-hmm. That's true. Bellatrix is a cool name, though. Oh, I, I like love her. Dude, that name. All right, let's just go. All right, all right. That's not what I She is so fine, bro. Yo, Bellatrix is strange. Call me. All right. She is fine, bro. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. She is fine, bro. And Speaking of fine, you know what I'm mad about in the movies? What I was always mad about? They didn't make Cho the way that she was supposed to be, and she was not as prevalent in the movies as she was supposed to be. Yeah. I kind of wish... Um, chose the the girl that uh harry goes to the dance with right yeah no wait no no he, he, he doesn't go to, the dance. To go to the dance with. he's supposed to go to the dance with he asked her Asian and then she said nah yeah. yeah 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 it didn't even bro that man was in love with her in the book i was about like, to say i've been fucking fatuated with her and they barely showed anything i was gonna say i feel like by the end of it they should have gone together not uh not jenny not him and Jenny. No, well, well, him and Jenny were supposed to be together, and they didn't show shit about Jenny either, bro. Yeah, I was going to say, like, she, she even... was a badass Quidditch player. That She was, you know, t- top of her fucking class. That's the other thing is they don't show that fucking Ron and Hermione were prefects. They don't fucking show the, the, Wait, uh, that Hermione. I mean? You remember we, the, the head of the, of the whole, uh, of all of Gryffindor. Yeah, the they were the heads their, of Gryffindor. Their house. Yeah. Remember how Percy was? Percy, the other Granger brother, when they get there, they're like, come on, everybody to the boardroom. Or whatever the fuck he says. <laughs> no. They wear those fucking pointy hats. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the dense caps, Helica hats. Yeah, bro, Ron and Hermione were fucking prefix. They didn't fucking show that shit. Yeah. They didn't show, they didn't show how Ron and Hermione really fucking fell in love. It, that, that wasn't how they fucking fell in love. I was going to say, even so, me and my girlfriend were like watching this and we're like, bro, I don't understand why Ron and Hermione even get together. They have like no chemistry in this mo- in these movies. And then the chemistry that we do see, like it feels like it's like there. And then just kidding, they're going to go with somebody else. Um, like the example is Harry Potter and her name is Cho. Cho, yeah. Cho. So him and Cho, I feel like, yeah, bro, you guys have at least some chemistry like you had a whole movie look like uh harry potter had like doe eyes for you like it looked like it was it was like it could have been raps it was also the worst it was also the worst movie so i'm just saying yeah it wasn't but okay uh well it was hermione kind of calls out in the what is it in the sixth book i think it no in the in the fourth one she calls out. She calls out Harry about the way that he feels about Ginny. I want to say it's the sixth one. Yeah, it's not the fourth. It's definitely not the fourth. It's during. It might it's, be. It's, it, it might be the fifth or sixth. Yeah, I think it's the sixth one. With we're um, they're at the Slug Club party, and she starts arguing with Ron, and then um, she asks, "Is uh, is this how it feels when you see Ginny with him?" Oh, I think that follows. Oh, though. they do that. They do that in the fourth. One. I think that follows the um, fourth or fifth movie. Because Harry and Hermione share a moment. It must. Wait, what's the one with Liquid Luck now? Is it the fifth? That's the sixth one. That's the sixth one. That's the half the prince, yeah. That's where Slug. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Harry and Hermione share a moment of like, is this what you feel like when Ginny is with whatever his name is? Yeah, it's because. You know the the girl used the uh, the Liquid. love potion on or on, yeah, on. Lo- yeah. And Hermione Ooh, was crying, and she sent Defense those of birds Arts. off. Who was Defense of Dark Arts teacher in the fifth book? Why can't I remember? Okay, first book. Hold on, let's go book by book. <laughs> Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> Professor. First Quirrell? book is Coral. 
second book oh. is uh, Chamber of Secrets is Lockhart. Lockhart. Why is Third. there always a different dark arts Lupin. teacher? Uh, Voldemort said a curse on it. Uh, yeah, Lupin. Fourth is yeah because he he always wanted to be the uh, defense dark arts the... teacher. Wait, he's he never got he never got he it. said a curse on the position. Yes, this dude is. <laughs> what does that mean? What does this that mean? Is... That it would be cursed that nobody would be able to hold the chair. So then... per year, per new person, they would like so get into year... a misfortune accident or like. Lupin got fired because it, he was made out to be a werewolf. Um, first one was Quirrell. Obviously, he got turned to ash. Second one, Lockhart lost his lost his brain. Third, Le- Rup- Lupin got fired. Fourth nope. was Mad-Eye Moody, who was actually was... Barty Crouch Jr., so that's gone. Uh, fifth book, who was the fucking defense against the dark arts teacher in the fifth book? It was the pink chick. <laughs> Dolores Umbridge! Dolores Umbridge. Dolores Umbridge. Oh yeah, she was the fence because yeah, yeah, because Snape was in in six. You're right. You're right. You're right. 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 Yeah. Then Snape. Oh, I hate that motherfucker. That was it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, she's infuriating. She's infuriating. Bro. Oh. Oh. Speaking of characters that didn't show, uh, that didn't show correctly in the movies either was fucking um Rita Skeeter. They that never. They never. The, the 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 press writer in the media for yeah oh yeah, fire. yeah 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 they never show how they never talk about how she got they, they oh at the very end of the movie they say something along the lines or Hermione has said something but they never reveal how she knows everything it's because she's a fucking animagus bro she turns into a beetle Hermione catches her and threatens her. Or threatens to tell the world that this is how she's getting all her information. Mm. And she continues to put out bullshit. But there was like there was like a small little thing that they said in the movie, but it's a big thing in the book. It's like a whole chapter in the book about how Hermione fucking catches her in her beetle form and shit like that. Because she's wearing like she has a little camera or something like that. It's fucking hilarious. Like as a beetle, she has a tiny camera. Yeah, bro. <laughs> That's sick. I think that's that was a goblet of fire, right? Wait, it what? It is a goblet of fire. Yeah, yeah. It's a goblet of fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then she doesn't oh, even the really like. Book. I was gonna say yeah, she doesn't even really pop up anywhere else. Oh, she was, but that's remember. what I'm saying. Yeah. In the movies, in the movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she came around again. Yeah. Well, like I think even in Deathly Hollows two, I forget. I think it's two. They mention her maybe. Because I know they're talking about like news articles and stuff like that, and how they portray Dumbledore um, at the end after his passing, and then uh, that's when Harry goes up to I think one of the writers and talks about how like oh how you knew him so well, and that's when uh, he gets revealed that oh he had a brother. He's like oh I didn't even know he had a brother. This not whatever yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. at the party. Yeah, yeah at the party. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, bro. You know what? Um, sp- real quick, real quick, just something that popped in my head. You know what I really liked about the Hogwarts game is that um, you know the Estrals, right? Or Thestrals? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about, Demo? I don't the, know. The demon. The dead, yeah, the dead horses. Oh, the ones that carry, uh, take the carriage, yeah, right? Take all the stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then how Lily, or uh, what the fuck is her name? Luna and yeah. Harry are with them, and they're, she's like, oh, you can see them too. You know, you can only see oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah seen death um in the hogwarts game in the very fucking beginning it's so sick so this carriage is taking off by itself right mm-hmm. and because you're playing as the person going to hogwarts and then this fucking dragon eats the half of the carriage and somebody dies in the mouth of the dragon and like almost immediately the thestrals become visible bro it, uh, it was that's good cool. attention to detail was fucking amazing in that game i i, I gotta go back that's and cool. play it again but yeah it was absolutely amazing absolutely cool. amazing just for those who don't know the thestrals only appear to those who have experienced death right or have seen it have seen, death? seen death yeah, yeah. Seen yeah. Death. that's cool that's a cool and, it, and it, the, the you know the year prior to that was when cedric died yeah mm-hmm. uh yeah wait what do you th- what do you mean oh in the Mercury. movies that oh, was yeah, the yeah. first time that he really saw them all death yeah oh well, that's true 
Dude, Yo, I love Luna. how they did that graveyard scene. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do. I do. Cool. I hate is, it, bro. Is, bro, no, I don't. I don't hate the scene. I hate the movie. Yeah. <laughs> the whole that, movie. that is it. That is Sorry. the only good. That is the only good scene in the movie, in my opinion. The only good scene in the movie. But the here, the and I know it's biased, whatever the fucking case may be. But if you read the books, if you read the books, that is the best book out of every single one of them, bro. God got my God on his truth. And the thing is, there's so many things in that book that are so prevalent to the Tri Wizard Tournament, to Barty Crouch's backstory. To Mad Eye Moody, to fuck it, just everything. Voldemort finally revealing himself that they crammed it into such a small amount of time. They should have made it two parts. Honestly. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, would you have preferred it to be a two parter? And that's why I love that they're gonna be coming out with the series because each each book is gonna wind up being a whole season, and they're that season is gonna be fucking sick. Or imagine they do a season on like the first ever Tri Wizard Cup. You know what I mean? Like, imagine how fucking crazy that thing was, dude. Like, well, I wow. think they're gonna do spinoffs after it. So they, they're set to do just the Harry Potter series, book one through seven. That's what the HBO's already agreed to. But I'm sure, th- I'm sure they will do some type of backstories and and like the birth of Hogwarts and shit like that. I hope do they you, don't. I, do I you hope think spinoff? But they have, they should because they're because. Rowling already has backstories for every single character. So it's not like they're just going to be making shit up. You know what I mean? Well, do like the parents of the kids from Hogwarts. Just don't do Hogwarts. I just, we've had enough. It, I think there's enough for us to chew on, especially with the books. And if you want to start off a fresh, clean plate, and there's no one coming back, nobody wants to come back. Daniel Radcliffe and none of, none of them want to come back. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Too old. Yeah, well, but even that's... even if they weren't too old, like I feel like there's um like I I like uh I don't know his name, but Ted from this is completely off topic. Ted Ted from um How I Met Your Mother. I feel like actors just get like I right, like I did that thing and it was cool and no, but I let also it, let think it lie, like you know if any of them came back, it would taint and spoil what they're actually trying to do. Maybe because yeah. then you're gonna have it in your mind like, oh, this person. You're gonna. It's gonna reflect back that this person was used to be this other person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it oh, won't yeah, be. Yeah. It won't be fresh. It's not gonna be something that's that's good. To me, there's just so many. Because obviously, right? Like you're reading the book for the first time, so all these things are these first time experiences that we're having through this, you know, imaginative journey through these books. And so to me, I think it would be so much smarter to dedicate maybe seasons or episodes. I don't know how they want to do it, but dedicate that to some of these stories that did not get explained at all. Like I'm saying first try wizard tournament, right? Or, um, dude, you could even do like a couple episodes, like a Halloween episode on, um, the, the lichen virus, like who was the first werewolves and where did it come from? Like, you know what I mean? You could do a whole season on Durmstrang. You can do the whole season on the other two schools from the Triwizard tournament. You can do a whole season on the fucking originators of Hogwarts. You can do a whole season on Voldemort applying to be a dark arts teacher and why he cursed it. Like you can do. I feel like you're coming from it from like a person who knows the lore so much that you want it expanded in building blocks though. So you could fit it in the lore that you already know to where I feel like people watching it will want a more detailed dive on what they've already been presented. And also, if you're to bring that other lore into it, a lot of a lot of people aren't even gonna fucking know where to start because it yeah. it wasn't even introduced the in the movie. <laughs> Put the ball. <laughs> Dude, I know, but, really bro, hard. Do you know how many? Do you know how many people I've met that I that are like, oh, I fucking love Harry Potter, and I'm like, Me. well, which book was your favorite? They're like, oh, I've never read a book. Jesus, I hate that. Me, I, bro. I don't understand. I did that. You, you, okay. you can't love. You love the Harry Potter movies. I love the Harry Potter movies. I'll never say like I've read the books. Like I love it. I'm such a super fan. No, bro. I just I do love Harry Potter. The movies, they're great. Um, and I want to read the books. Don't get me wrong. I want to read the books. I think everything that you guys have said ha- with like such detail is so cool that it actually does make me want to read the books. I think it's really cool. Yeah, I think they're they're, they're just yeah, and they're just they're just so much, bro. And it, it, the way it goes in depth. In so many fucking things about the school, um, about Horcruxes, the way the Horcruxes were found. Some of the Horcruxes were found differently in the books 
like that, that like there's just so much that that revolves around it bro and and especially, especially i'm telling you the maze theme <laughs> the wizard tournament in the book is the, one of my favorite things that i've ever read in my whole life bro Hey, bro, I got to give you that. I got to give you that. I was thinking about it. I was like, dude, that was a hill he's willing to fucking die on. It's like, I will die on Amazing. And uh... the maze enough. Yeah. <laughs> bro, so, if no, you like, just bro, read the bro. chapter, just get the book and read that chapter, and you'll see what the fuck I'm talking about. Bro, I'm, I'm dead serious. For the cat, for a casual person who may have just watched the movie, I thought, which, which I thought was amazing, but. If you want <laughs> more insight on what was really going on with the tourney, please read the book. Because, yes, Cisco is right. There is literally chapters worth of information. That There's a big fucking sphinx that gives them fucking riddles for them to fucking figure out <laughs> while they're in the maze trying not to die. Like, bro, the maze scene in Goblet of Fire is five minutes fucking long, bro. And all they're doing is running away from branches and fucking ghoul-eyed fucking mother that's true like bro it, yeah. there's so much to it there's bro. so much wait does it. the does the book have the maze like because in the movie the maze is a hallway in the book is the maze like this huge expanse of bro, space it, it no that's oh, the thing the, bro, yeah, it yeah. starts out as just that hallway with a cloud around it so that you don't know how big or small it is yeah. And oh, they, they did a that good the- job then of 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 recreating the the maze itself. Because what you're the describing entrance. is exactly but, is exactly but what maze, was displayed. The maze moved. The yeah. maze did certain things inside. It, it would never. You. Yeah, 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 you could. It, you could. It, it would engulf you. Yeah, it showed that for three minutes, five minutes maybe. Yeah. It, it did was, show that, that was for it. five minutes. That was it, bro. And all it showed was fucking vines. There was way more. That, just read it. I'm not even gonna ruin it for you. I'm not gonna say any more. There was but like when you get to. There was way more shit that was happening in there besides like they just put a big emphasis on. They just cut straight to the chase. Crumb gets possessed. He fucks up the chick, and now he's chasing the other two, and they have to fuck him up. And he's like, "Od." He's like brawly, like you know what I mean. It's like, yeah, just, and that was it. <laughs> he he gets bewitched yeah, right? by who? Oh, uh, it's by Moody. My, yeah, by Mad Eye. Yeah, 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 by Mad Eye. That's right. Uh, by Mad Eye. Yeah, the decoy, the imposter among us. The other, um, other Mad Eye. But how do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know that? Know what? How do, that he gets how do you know that he was be, bewitched by Moody? Do they say that in the movie? Yeah, they say that in the oh. movie. Oh, they, they do. do. They don't. Yeah, that's how I know. I haven't read the book interesting fact <laughs> when do they say, when do they say that um moody moody starts yelling at uh i think it's when moody and harry are in the uh like room alone this is after um what's his oh, name oh yeah when he takes his fucking leg off yeah and he starts talking about like who do you think put your name in the goblet who do you think why do you think you've gotten so yeah. far who and yeah the all this like, <laughs> yeah he's like I anything about a graveyard Oh yeah! Oh, bro, that was such a good like. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, he's like, what did he look like in the graveyard? He's like, I don't think. What do you think? Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you this demo as somebody who didn't read the books and just watched the movies. Yes. What was uh how how did you feel when the when the uh when the when the roles were reversed and you find out who Sirius is and that Lupin is his friend and fucking Pettigrew pops out. And they both turn their wands on him. I need to that see whole what scene movie, in the what movie shack, what? in the shooting shack, Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, bro, I don't have that fresh in my mind. I don't remember what scene you're talking about. I'd have when to pull it up. You, so okay, so here's the scene. Okay. The okay. dog. The dog is dragging Ron into the hole under the Whomping Willow. Uh huh. And they wind up in the shrieking shack. And Sirius is there, or the dog. It's it's him as the dog, uh-huh. and then they have their wands on him. And then Lupin pops in, and has his wand to Sirius, and is like, "I thought you would never escape." Blah, 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 blah. And then they're like, "Just tell him, just kill him already." And they're like, "What?" And then they point at the rat, and they're like, "Oh, he's missing a toe on his left foot, or whatever the fuck." And then mm-hmm. they fucking turn 
Peter Pettigrew from a rat to a human. <laughs> yeah. And then Snape walks in and fucking Harry fucking kablowies his ass and then wants to hear what Sirius has to say. Like, how did that make you feel? Because I know the whole book, the whole movie, they make you think that Sirius is a fucking bad guy. Yeah. And yeah everybody's yeah. after him. Then Lupin shows up and was like, you think that he's after him. But then they're like, oh, old buddy, old pal. <laughs> you know, like, how the fuck do you remember how that made you feel? I don't, bro. I remember being so hyped about that movie when, not when it came out, but when I watched it, because I watched it out of order. I don't even remember what movies were out at the time, but I remember I completely skipped over that one. And then watching it, I was like, bro, this is sick. I obviously didn't understand it. I don't think all of the, the story behind it. Um, just thinking though, I'm like, I don't know. I'd have, I think I'd have to rewatch it knowing everything I know to be like, Oh shit. Um, but it's kind of hard, right? Like going back to be like, Oh, this is how I felt because I know Sirius is like a good character and like somebody that you end up really liking. Um, and then when that bitch ass Bellatrix fucking kills him, it's heartbreaking. Um, I remember, I remember cause I, I went to the fucking midnight releases and I remember being at the midnight release for fucking <laughs> order. Order is where Dumbledore dies? Yeah. Order, order is where Dumbledore dies. Order of the Phoenix? Oh, no. no. Half blood, half blood, half blood, half blood. Half blood is when. Yeah, yeah. I remember being at the midnight release and then there was this buzz, bro. Like this started going around. And then somebody dies. An important character dies in the book. Oh, I'd be pissed. I'd be so bro, pissed. Everybody thought it was Ron. Oh, wow. Uh huh. And then JK came out and she said, I was going to kill Ron off in the books, but I couldn't. I had to have the three of them complete in the end. And then, and then the last book came out and she was like, Nobody's safe. Everybody, <laughs> oh, fucking, everybody fucking died, bro. That shit was wild. Bro, Lupin and Tonks, fucking Fred, like mm. Bellatrix died, like everybody dies, bro. And oh, here's another nod to the fucking book that they do in the fucking story, which is a or in the movies, which is a big fuck you to everybody that's read the books. When what is it? It's in uh yeah, it's Deathly Hollows one where they all drink the polyjuice and they're and they look like uh, Harry, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait, what? That's in in the beginning of the movie. They're, about, oh, they're yeah, all yeah, they're okay. all flying and they're all that's flying in, to the Weasley's house. That's, that's in the Hollows. First half Blood Prince or Deathly Hollows. I mean, Hollows. that's the first Deathly yeah, Hollows. That's movie, the first right? Deathly yeah. Hollows. Yeah. So if you notice, there some somebody says something to Lupin and Tonks, and then they're like. Oh, we have something to tell you. And like Tonks kind of looks oh, down, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. somebody stands right in front it's of her. Moody. Moody says that and, we had, and, we don't have time for this. Yeah. Bro. So they're not just gonna say that they, you know, that they had a baby? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, they actually allude to this later when they die. Um, I think Harry says, like, what about their kid? Or oh yeah, yeah. it's when um he no, no he go he goes to yeah yeah he goes to um w this is when he figures out he has the uh, resurrection stone inside the snitch, and then he sees the people who have died like Snape and uh, his mom and his dad, and uh, what's his name is there is it Lupin? Yeah, Remus. He's there. And he's like and he's like oh what about your son? And then he's like he'll grow up and he'll uh I, I forget exactly the speech he says but he was like he'll 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 live his life basically. They didn't even tell you that they had a baby. They don't tell you who the Godfather is. They don't tell you yeah. shit. The Harry ends up raising it. Harry ends up raising his son, bro. <laughs> oh damn! I didn't know that at all. Yeah, yeah. He ends up raising him. Wait, is Lupin tells him that he wants him to raise his son. Mm -hmm. Oh dang! That would have been a perfect moment as well when he's talking to him in the afterlife to be like, like. Harry, take care of my kid. You I see what the fuck I'm saying, dog? I know you're 17. You're fighting this wizard. Shit's weird right now. But can you be my you, you know, kid? You can't even get laid by the woman that you want to get laid by. You know? 
I know shit's weird on here, but you know. I know, I know you yeah. haven't even had sex, here's but the here's key, a kid. Here's the key to my Rolls Royce. <laughs> here you go. I mean, you already own a house. You know, you already. That's own. wild. Wow, I did. That I didn't know. I didn't know that at all. And then they, they only talk about the the other Weasley brother who's in Hungary once. Charlie, that's in fucking Goblet of Fire. Uh, Bill. Bill. Bill Weasley. They don't talk about him once. They don't talk about oh, yeah. how... Fucking, I didn't even know. Yeah, I didn't even know those. They don't one. even talk about how Percy... Bro, this is the shit that pissed me the fuck off. They don't <laughs> even show how Percy graduated and went to the Ministry of Magic. No longer talks to his fucking family anymore because... The ministry is against Harry. And then, like, they don't show shit. They show Percy one time, one other time in the ministry, like, kicking Harry out or some shit like that. that that's it. Um, During the battle of, yeah, during the battle of the ministry, I think in the movie you see. Oh, he comes back. He does come back in the in the war, in the last movie. He comes in the, back. In the Percy last fight, yeah. 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 But he, they don't show that whole falling out that they had, like, Man, mm-hmm. he's a bitch, bro. Percy's a bitch. I would fucking, I'd fight him. Man, he got me riled up now, dog. Yeah, I was gonna say, Grandmaster says uh, that he really missed out on the rest of these movies. He says I'm hooked. I need to watch them, bro. You haven't even seen all the series. movies. I don't know. I guess not. He hasn't seen all the movies. <gasps> bro, how did you wait, wait, wait? How did you watch these movies and not finish it? That's insane to me. Yeah, where did you stop? Yeah, where did you stop? Oh, also, can we talk about how dope Dumbledore's grave was? Oh, you know what? Um, me, me and my girlfriend were literally talking about this. It would have been so much cooler if his uh, grave was the thing that was levitating. Or I don't know if it was levitating, but they have two like marble pillars and then one marble block. And then, un- and then at the bottom, it's a regular grave and it's like encased in marble. And then it's just a regular like grave, you know, whatever. But... We were thinking it would have been so cool if his shit was the thing at, on the top. Um, I don't know. It feels like so much more like grand and like. Uh, yeah, but you get put. I don't into know. So big when you die. Yeah, but they're fucking wizards and magical. Why do they need a, to see a regular regular? Oh, that would have been yeah, cool. Bro. That would have been so bro. Cool. That shit. That shit would have been sick as fuck. All right, what's your favorite scene? Favorite scene from the movies? Any movie? Oh, uh, mine graveyard scene one A one B would probably be um Voldemort unearthing uh Dumbledore's grave. I think that happened exactly really? as I imagined it as I read it in the book. Yeah, okay. that was a good okay. scene. Yeah, I think that happened. Exactly. Are you zero? Um, it's weird because it's not even in. Uh, I'll do one. I'll do one and one like course. So one A. I really like the animation style and how they did the storytelling of the uh, Deathly Hollows. I thought that was so cool. The way that they... I want to get that tattooed on me. That style tattooed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that, I think that whole story... Like, it looked like a fleshed out storyboard of like the people in the writing room being like, okay, this is what we want it to look like. And they were like, well, how do we like make it look cool? And they're like, okay, we'll just do it like this. I mean, we're already coffee drawing it. <laughs> yeah, throw, throw some coffee on it. <laughs> put some dirty paper on there and just like film it. I don't fucking know, um, but it was so cool, super well done when they were talking about the Deathly Hollows. And then, um, peace out, Bryson. Uh, sorry, really quick. Um, thanks so much for coming by. And then probably, oh, uh, the scene where they're finding the Horcrux, the necklace, and uh, the necklace Horcrux, and Dumbledore and Harry have to go to this like insanely dark area. And um, Harry Potter is getting overtaken by these like sea like little fucking gremlins, mm-hmm. and then you, all you see is Dumbledore with a fucking fire just yeah oh, oh yeah God. that is the best scene yeah. that's a badass scene yeah, yeah that shit was cool Damn, that I gotta sick. save my badass I, scene for I second. slept on that scene I slept on that scene that scene is oh, right. <laughs> oh, that, he's that, on right now that, okay that that is what I'll say that scene that whole scene right where he's drinking the water fire yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Fucking, like dying they do that scene better in the movie than it was in the book it's like filmed so perfectly bro it was oh. so good yeah it's like please <laughs> And then the, the actual shell looks so cool. Like the shell that he's getting it from. Yeah. It's everything is so cool about that scene. Yeah, I think like in the book, it was so. Uh, yeah, I, I will, I'll agree to that, Cisco, where it's like 
usually I like the writing a lot better than the movie, but then that part in the movie, that and when they first showed Buckbeak, like when I those two parts, because I just mm. couldn't wrap my brain around like how it looked. It's this dark room, and there's this well, they're scooping well, in the it. setting. The setting, the setting of how they got there, like riding the boat there, is better in the book. Like they describe how the boat looks and like um, you know, the sea of, of death and shit like that. They described how that looked better, but the scene from when they get off the boat to him fully drinking that whole shit was way better in the movie. Way better, yeah. Way yeah, better. Yeah, I'll give you that. And all right, all right. First, first scene for me, one A. This might sound corny, but I really fucking like it. <laughs> what are you about to say, I really bro? fucking like it. I really what like it. Like? Harry, I'm gonna set the setting, dog. Harry's sitting Jeez. in the cafe reading a newspaper, and this <sighs> really cute black girl is his waitress. And then she's like, "Harry, funny character this Harry Potter sounds like, or some shit like that, right?" And then he laughs, and then he he looks, and the train's like. Dumbledore standing right there. So he goes and sits next to Dumbledore. And then uh, Dumbledore says something to him. It's so slick, too. I don't remember what the fuck it is. And then he's like, oh, you won't be doing any hanging around tonight, Harry. And then he, like, looks at his hand like this, and it's all black. And then he just puts his arm out like this. And then they fucking apparate, bro. That sh- that scene is fire as fuck. <laughs> that was cool. 1B. 1B. By far the best scene, in my opinion. Harry and Voldemort standing on the edge of the building. Let's finish it how we started it, Tom. And then they fucking dive off the edge, bro. And then you see them fucking intertwining and everything. Best scene of every out of every single movie, in my opinion. I had said while watching it. So fire. Yeah, I like the imagery when they come together and then they even split themselves apart again. Bro, and they're like, that was ah! cool. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That Bro, was fire. It just, like, that's, you know, it's like at that point, it just shows. Ooh, another yeah. good part. Another good part is, God, I just lo- I love, I love when they hit, uh, they escaped Gringotts. They hit the water, and as he's coming out, there's the flashes of Voldemort, and he's killed everybody. And he's like, oh, they've realized our secret. And it's like Harry at the same time is coming out the water, bro. And he's like deep breaths of, of air. And she was like, oh, dude, it's so it was so intense. It was, yeah, it, the, was it was so fucking intense. It, it, <laughs> dude, that, I was going to say the, the fight scene with Dumbledore and Voldemort where he like grabs him in the ball of water and he's just holding him there. I that was, shit was fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, bro. And then the glass, And then he like raises his arm and then the fucking glass comes up. Yeah. Oh that yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. Bro, that shit is more breathing dude. fire. Well, oh, he, and, he breathes fire is insane. And then when um um I think it's Harry. Harry's like getting possessed by him, and then he's just like encased in this like almost like frozen tornado of sand, and you just yeah. see like Harry struggling. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. That like, was <laughs> like fucking die, bro. Bloodshot <laughs> eyes and shit. My man was tweaking hard. Yeah, that was a twisted. That was a twisted scene for sure, bro. That was that was wild. That was wild. I'm telling you, there's so many cinema, bro. That was they did a good. But they got they did a great job job in the last four movies. The first uh, first four were, eh, we're we're getting there, we're getting there. But the last four, amazing. They were really good. Absolutely. Can we agree that the Philosopher's Stone is the worst book and movie in all of the series? No. So- Sorcerer's but Stone? But they do uh, say that there's some shit that doesn't make any fucking sense in the first mo- book. Like, let me ask you a question. How the fuck... I mean, they don't show it very well in the movie, but in the book, how in the fuck do you get to a hotel in on a rock in the middle of the ocean? Where the waves are so big and crashing down. Like, that's how they explain it in the book. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Before yeah. Hagrid comes and he's like, you're a wizard, Harry. Like, the <laughs> most famous line, right? Like, <laughs> you're a Harry wizard. You're a Harry wizard. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't... I, I guess I would say... I wouldn't say it's the worst book. I, I guess I could say... It's not the best. Book. You can't say it's the worst because it got it's the one that got you hooked. It That's was kind of so true. Outlandish. It was so outlandish, bro. That I was like, I gotta read another one. 
<laughs> no, you know what it was? It was the um, it was the unicorn scene. It was the unicorn scene, even not only in the books but in the movie where I was like, uh, okay, I can I see where this can go. Like you know, Wait, that, forgot, was short, that was short lived. What that the, was fucking short lived. What unicorn scene? I forget. Um, it's, blood keeps you alive. Yeah, Quirrell, Quirrell's killed a unicorn and he's drinking the blood to help keep Voldemort alive. Um, and but that, which I always thought in the I always thought when I read that book, I always thought it was Voldemort drinking the blood, and then I always wondered to myself, how the fuck did Quirrell lean backwards for fucking Voldemort's mouth to be the one drinking the blood? But I guess it was Quirrell drinking it because he was nourishing his body to nourish Voldemort. Yeah, he was living like a parasite. I remember it being written like that. So it was like anything that he was taking in, Voldemort. Voldemort. I gotcha. Yeah. I was going to say, I I honestly need to re... I need to, I guess, rewatch all of the first, second, third, fourth. What's a... What's a... Uh, uh, what is it called? Prisoner of Azkaban. Is that four? That's three. Or is that three? Three. I need to watch the first Well, Oh, here's, here's my thing Again. is, you literally... You literally have a headphone in all day, every day. You don't listen. You listen to podcasts when you drive. Why don't you just put the audiobooks on? They have them on Spotify. I can't do. I can't do audiobooks, bro. I can't. Okay. <laughs> I've tried. I've so tried. I have this? audiobooks, and I've tried. What if I? What if I? What if Read I get the me? books, and I would? I will do the audio. I'll. I'll record myself. Streaming and I'll read Harry Potter. There's no way. The I swear I'll do it. I swear I will. Fuck Harry do Potter. It. Harry Potter box that is in my Amazon cart right now. <laughs> Put it on there, bro. I have. Well, I have Good all day. the books. I'll give them to you, bro. I have every single one of them. I have like I was, three no, copies of each of them. Because why do you have so many copies? Because I would get them gifted. Because people knew I liked them. I have like I have the the gold paged sorcerer's stone like special edition copy i have every copy in hard and every copy in soft i like Ooh, hard I covers like, like yeah hard covers i like that you have it in hard yeah bro i like that you're hard listen i, 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 think, think, soft. I think i think uh i was thinking about buying it on like my ipad and just like going like that but I'll, i th- i don't know we'll we'll have to see it's not i know i like books bro i like having the books but I tried the audiobooks. Like I tried, I bought um, Jordan Peterson's book in audio, and I thought, bro, he read it. He's gonna shout out JP. Shout out know, JP. Uh, that man, that man's name comes out in every single one of our podcasts. Every Literally, single one. even the Harry Potter one. <laughs> even so the Harry Potter one. Let's so get I bought- fucking JP's take on Harry Potter. <laughs> he likes Harry Potter. I've heard his. Statement. There's no trans people in Harry Potter. I'll tell you that much, JP. Stop, bro. Listen, all right, pivot real quick. Oh, you bloody uh, I bought. I bought his audiobook because I was like, oh, this will be sick. Like, I love Jordan Peterson's, like, the way he speaks. It was so fucking boring. Oh, my God. I'd never heard anybody. That's what I'm saying. I don't. If you, read but you're reading so a fucking fiction book, bro. Like, this is. No, but it's not. It, it's because if you. I don't know. Maybe this isn't all audible, audible books, but um, I mean, not audible. Sorry. You got to sponsor us first. N- not all unnamed brands who read books <laughs> to you. Um, Audible just, sponsor us, bitch. <laughs> it's just boring. Like it was just very much like. And then he went and turned the page. Oh, because there's was, some that are badass, like, bro. I've heard some that are badass. Okay, um, maybe I just got a there, bad bad hit. There was a there was a book that I used to read. It's called Aragon. I don't know if you guys have ever read that. Um, Sounds cool. They had an audible version of it, and it was really fucking good. I just want like different voices and all types of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want like the enthusiasm. Like if you could throw in like, and then there was fire, and just and you're like, damn. Oh, you want shit. sound effects? Yeah, bro. Because I want to be like, oh damn, bro. Oh, I, I thought, I thought you, the fire bro. was coming out my ears, bro. You damn. pay, you pay me, bro. This is all you have to pay me. <laughs> Fifty dollars so a book. Fifty dollars a book, and I will read them, and I will do different voices. I'm a father, nah, bro. bro. I know how to read books with different voices. I do sound many... effects. Hey, Aragon was lit. Sylvester says, "Let's go, oh, my guy." <laughs> yeah. It. What? A bu- fifty dollars uh, for each. Fifty dollars a book, so four hundred bucks. Wait, how many 400? books? Four hundred. Four hundred bucks. There's only seven. Oh, I thought there was eight books. Sorry, my bad. I can't. I can't hear you. 
Yes, three fifty. But you only have to pay me once you're done listening. What if I don't like it? Is this like money back guarantee? Well, no, you still have to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, nah, bro. This is this is not it. There are audio books with music. Or is there really? I didn't know that. I are feel like I'm able to there hear. There is a audio book called Cask of Amontillado. I think it is by. I want to say it's by fucking Shakespeare. Um, but there was a scene, right? I remember when we were listening to it in school. There's a scene where the dude is like in the catacombs of Paris, pretty much, right? And he he's chained up to the wall, and this dude is trying to stab him with a sword, right? I don't know if I can say that on YouTube or whatever. But he's dressed as a jester, right? So he has bells on his head. And in the audio, you hear the cling of the fucking sword, and you can hear yeah, bro. Bells. You can hear his bells just like you know, like just going off. So it's like, oh snap. That's like, cool. That's cool. That I thought was one of the best audio recordings I've ever listened to, like when it came to a book. And I've listened to. Oh, a- so we've been sitting here. So we'll, let's go. Let, since since Corpse and I are the only ones who've read the books and seen the movies, I just received an unpopular opinion from Rocket. He says, Oof. an unpopular opinion movies are better than the books. No. Okay. <laughs> well, here's my first question Have you read all the books? But also, I've had that's, that's just. Question. That's just by default not true. Like they, I, I haven't read the books, and I know that they're better than the movies. I, they have to be. They're just corpse. So much. Where is your standpoint on this? Oh, books, hundred percent. Books, hundred percent. Like the only thing that I can I draw a comparison you... to is Percy Jackson. I remember reading those books and then watching the movie, and I was like, "This is, dude, like you, what the fuck? You thought... put almost anything in here." That's how I was with the series of unfortunate events. I was addicted mm. to those fucking books when I was a kid. And the movie, or I only watched the first one, did it no justice. He says, I don't like to read. Well, then that's not an unpopular opinion. That's Based. just you don't like the books. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, he said <laughs> I, I was forced to read them. Oh, okay. Well, then, you, then you find no enjoyment if you're forced to read them. That's well, probably why. Yeah, you just don't like the series in, as a book. It seems like you like yeah. it as a movie. No, the books are one hundred percent better. There, there's. If you, I guarantee, you if you ask anybody that read has read all the books and have watched all the movies, they'll tell you that the books are better. Because there's so much missing, bro. What I'll say that the movies do for me is that it gives me the proper context of what they were writing, right? When it comes to some of these imaginary things, right? Like, like the I, visuals. Yeah, the visuals, uh, like I said, Buckbeak, bro, like a hippogriff. Like the first time you actually, just hearing the word actually being said properly and not how I'm making it up in my head, you know? Hieroglyph? <laughs> yeah, like, like what the fuck? <laughs> or or a dude speaking parcel tongue. Like, I don't know what that actually sounds like, but then to hear it done in the movie is interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, um, especially in that Lockhart scene. Where they make oh that's a badass scene too where Draco and Harry like come up to each other and the, the uh so, what does Draco say Draco says you're gonna wish something and then Harry's like you wish you remember that oh. part and then they're like yeah that, they the love first, that part it's the, the first, first like wand battle second, or whatever they do second movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah the first like formal duel or whatever oh by the way they yeah, never do that shit ever again which is. No, Harry just continues to fuck Malfoy up until Malfoy kicks at every him in the chance fucking he face. Face, dude. At every, at every turn, he lays the fucking paws on that boy. <laughs> when, Malfoy, when Malfoy got the, the opportunity to fuck him up, bro, he fucking broke his nose. Bro, he fucking took every chance. That motherfucker. Yeah, bro, he that was so petty, him. too, bro. That was hella petty. Well, not petty, but just like, yeah, bro, he was not able to move at all. Like, you really gonna stomp him out like that? Like, come on, bro. Dementors. There's um I mean Oh, the Dementors looked way more sick in the movies. And they didn't do the Dementors justice in number three. They did him a lot more justice in number five. I don't remember what a five was. A five oh, was one attack, they, they the attack. Um, Oh, that's right. They they attacked Harry league. and uh he was at the playground. He was at the yeah, playground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, yeah they looked way better. Dudley. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool, bro. Yeah. A lot of the imagery, they did so well on the imagery 
um, for different, I guess, villains. Uh, Voldemort, <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, the the thing with the new HBO series that's going to be coming out, part of me feels so torn because I'm like, <laughs> these characters and these villains and the way that they look and the story that they've created, it's so hard not to compare the movie, which was insanely good in some points, to what now will be the show, which I'm sure is going to have a way lower budget because they have to stretch it over such a long expanse of time. And they know, already bro. have... Think about HBO. Think about what they did for Game of Thrones. Yeah, they fucked it. I know. That's what scares me. No, I'm talking about visually. Game of Thrones was fucking amazing. No, I heard good things. I just they did not fuck Game of Thrones, but I hate when people keep the last that. two seasons were ass compared to everything. They were not. <laughs> they were not ass. How you can't say they were ass because you have nothing to compare them to. Well, I want to read the books. I want, but and... the books are not done. That's what I'm saying. Like you yeah. can't say they're ass if you don't know how the story ends in the literature. You know just, what, what do mean? you think? Like, do you writing. think? Do you think now that the the books? Well, I'm assuming the books are eventually going to be written. They have to follow. So typically, no. a movie will follow the book. Do you think mm-hmm. now that the move or the show in this case would be done, that the book is going to be like, fuck, we kind of have to write to. No, but he what, he ha- he had so much of his hand in screenplay that that's probably how the book would have ended anyway. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, that's why I don't understand why people are mad. Fucking motherfucker helped them go like. He had his hands heavy in that fucking series. I don't know. Yeah. That's just my opinion, bro. I, I thought Game of Thrones was absolutely amazing. What is... I mean, the ending was kind of mid, but, like, it didn't suck like people say it did. In my it was opinion. a whack. It wasn't. What is I mean, one spell that you would... Ha- you could only have one. You could only do this one spell to uh, for your day-to-day life. What would it be? What would be the one spell that you'd that you'd want none of the cursed ones you can't do the cursed ones well those are forbidden or the forbidden ones yeah uh, they're forbidden <laughs> and this is a hard one dog part of me wants to go akio because that's just clutch like imagine never having to find anything ever again just like summon you, it just, ever. <laughs> you just summon it you can summon whatever the fuck you want you think it would be that useful though like how often yeah. do you lose shit Oh, that's true. I don't lose shit that often. Lumos would be nice. I think Lumos would be the one that you would use on a day-to-day basis. You'd use that a lot. But then you have to use a different spell to make it go away. Oh, yeah. You can only turn it on. (laughs) (laughs) It'd be on for the rest of your life. Forever. I don't think that's how Lumos works. Yeah, because Nox is the... the... Next oh, spell that turns right. it off. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't even think of that. Oh, uh, you know what? I w- actually here. Here's exactly what I would use. Here, here would, here's what my day to day spell would be. Alohomora. I forgot what that does because I, do? I can get into any fucking. I can unlock any door unlock I want. Those, yeah. I'll get. I can get into anything I want at that point. We can mm. be rich, baby. That's see, yeah, that's those are the things <laughs> I'm going for right there. Too. You know what I'm saying? Aloha Mora, bro. Uh, can I use I, Leviosa? Can I get a stronger Leviosa to be able to like levitate shit? Can you say the fucking spell correctly? Ungodian Leviosa? What? Leviosa. Uh, wait, what'd song. you say? Wait, 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 what was the spell? Nah, bro. Zero? I don't, I don't that's know. That's the bro. spell, Zero? That's like not What's even the spell? the spell that I was talking about, bro. What's the spell, dog? And Guardian Leviosa? How about uh, Wind Guardian? Oh, Wind Guardian. Leviosa. All right, bro. Leviosa. I haven't seen the movie, okay? In a minute. <laughs> no, but can I get that? But, like, because they only did a feather. Could I get it? Like, can I lift a car? Yeah, bro. Wind oh, it's Guardian your... Leviosa. They use, use it for the club. Hold on. They use Side. it for the club against the fucking, against over the troll. Against the troll. <gasps> Ball of the House of Usher was a good fucking show. Cast of. They do a scene in the show like Cast of Amontillado. Okay. I have seen like bits and pieces of House of Usher. Have you guys Good show. It? Yeah, I think I haven't watched it. Fucking crazy. What is it on? HBO? Uh, uh, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. I Great. Netflix. I thought it was a good show. Suck your mother. Sick. I haven't, I haven't seen it. 
the bomba clot. There's a lot of clot gonna suck your mother. It is a lot of uh, there's a lot of um, Edgar Allan Poe Sex. like references and like oh. no 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 there's like different parts of it in different stories and they reference a lot of different things. It's really cool. Um, big ups to my girlfriend for the Raven. The show. Uh, the Ray, I think so. Yeah, is it is that the one where um. Oh yeah, no, no, that's the like. Well, I won't spoil it, but the yeah, yeah, they. Yeah, they I don't want to know. Yeah, yeah, I don't have Netflix, but you don't have Netflix. No, bro. No what Netflix. The fuck? I don't want to pay for that shit. Okay. I already pay for fucking uh, Amazon videos and Pornhub Premium. And porn. <laughs> <laughs> My main man. If you pay for porn, bro, you're a sucker. That's wild, bro. All right, let's get off porn. We always talk about porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've talked about spells that we would use, favorite scenes, what we would want taken out. Talking about a lot of history in the books that's not shown in the movies. Was there anything else that you wanted to touch on? Yeah, we talked about a lot. What's I thought one, it was... Go, go, go. What's one magical power you wish you had? Like transfiguration, occlumency, divination. Like what? what is something that you would want? Bro, being an being an animagus would be sick as fuck. That's to transform into an animal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Serious. You can only that? transform into one animal. Who else could do that? Well, I know there's a there's a professor who oh, could do it. I just don't. McGonagall. McGonagall. Oh, McGonagall. Yeah. yeah she turns a into a cat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Sirius does it. Who else does it? Tonks. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to be anamorphous. You know. Yeah, she's a pig. I think. She no, she can right. change into anything. I thought as an animagus, you could only turn into one animal. I see, and that's what was <laughs> that was my thing with her because there's even a scene in the movie where they show that she's changing different faces of different animals. Yeah, she that's has a duck. Right. Yeah. Uh, Wait, hold on, was she an animagus though? Um, my girlfriend was stating throughout the whole series that Harry and Hermione were actually best friends. That Ron and Harry, who are not actually best friends in the movies, as far as we saw. Would you guys argue? No. <laughs> oh, no. no, bro. No. I kind no, of agree with her at some point. I'm she's like, a metamorphomagus. She's Metamorph- a metamorphomagus. Yeah. So she could change like parts of her body or what? No, she yeah. could do multiple forms. Uh, they changed their appearance on their wish to whatsoever they like. Uh, the ability has helped her greatly in the conceal concealment and disguise yeah oh that's cool yeah she wasn't an animagus yeah because hold on let me see i think slughorn is a metamorph because he he transforms into a fucking couch oh yeah i forgot that we find him as a couch yeah his little two ass his two ass little feet the loafers coming out <laughs> like, bro, yeah, what see. the fuck and i'm and a Megai only transform at will, but only into one animal form, which is determined by their inner traits. Uh, a man's best friend. Serious. Let's go. Getting on the board. So, okay, wait, wait. So, what you're saying, what you're saying is Ron was not Harry's best friend? Um, there were some Hermione points was? in the. In Why can't some you of have movies? more than one best friend? No, but like uh, more of his best friend than Ron. Because you see a lot of the times Harry comforting Hermione, like in um Yeah, but their relationship is different it's because it's male and woman. Yeah. <laughs> male and female relationship is a lot. Dude. That, that's why you can have a male you can have a male best friend and a female best friend and you will treat them. I'm not I'm not saying that you that. won't. I'm just saying is one more of your best friend than the other. I'm not saying that they're not both best friends. I think they're equivalent. Okay. Yeah. As far as I saw, I kind of agree with her. At because some point. I think, though, I, I guarantee you the one thing that your girlfriend will bring up is when Ron left and it wound up just being Harry and Hermione there and they couldn't, you know. That was a really together. sick moment. Yeah. That was a really nice moment. Yeah. She but that wasn't, that wasn't because Hermione was a, more of a best friend. That's because Ron was not in his right mind. He was being consumed by a Horcrux. Well, not and not only Weren't that, we all the though. Wizard, in the Tri Wizard tournament, when they do the the water, the swimming challenge, they're both they're both underwater, and he tries to get both of them. Do you guys remember that? I do, I do. 
Yeah, he well, but the only reason he did and who's and who's Whoa. the one that they had under who's the one that they had down there for for for, for Harry Ron was Ron. Well, was Ron. well, no, but the reason that they did that was because Hermione was dating what's his name um, for, for fucking a, a well, a week. but they were dating dog. Nah, fucking. Dude. They would have found somebody else for him. Fuck, they the found somebody else for him. Well, because you can't have because it's only it's supposed to be one right. per person, right? Correct. Fuck Victor Crumb. Oh, Fuck Jesus. Victor Crumb, dog. Fuck Victor Crumb. Uh, Crumb. Crumb. No, yeah, but no, no, no. Ron is definitely just as much of a best friend, if not more. Why more? What? What? what I, I just feel like every time, uh, yeah, in terms of like the grand scheme of things, Ron was there for the most part. But a lot of the times, he didn't. In the grand scheme of things, isn't the grand scheme of things the most important part? No, Who did because. He meet first? Huh? Who did he meet first? That isn't. It it no, no. He, he, he would have never got to that fucking train platform. Think about who let me ask you a question who saved him from the dursley's house oh in the car hey who was whipping who was whipping <laughs> <laughs> who was who was whipping? Tell, tell me what hermione did more for him he was there for him fixed his, fix his glasses okay Sorry. He fixed yeah. His, yeah. She fixed his glasses yeah, fucking glasses she was the she mother. helped both of them. He she helped both of them fucking pass probably all of their classes. Yeah, both of them, but that's different. That's not one or the other. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I get where she's coming from in some parts. It felt like at some points they had a better friend chemistry than okay, Ron hold on. Harry. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. If if you let me ask call. you this. If Hermione, if Hermione left instead of Ron, right? And when Ron and when Hermione came back and they were going to destroy the Horcrux, the, the locket, and all that fucking shit came out, what could have been shown for Ron and Harry to Hermione to make her feel like the way Ron did with seeing Hermione and Harry? Well, no, because that's different. Because Ron and Hermione... I'm just asking for something like Ron that. and Hermione have a romantic relationship for whatever reason... Didn't make sense in the movies. Uh-huh. Um, and so to show that, <laughs> to show no, that, it made more sense or to show, uh, possibly, I mean, probably, I don't know. I've, I've Absolutely. Wait, why do they, do, do they go into it super heavily in their chemistry with, between each other? Or is there more subtleties or bit. more? Their first kiss is a lot more chemistratic. Chemistratic. B H E M I S T R A T I C chemistratic. Just because you, can with you. Just make you can't spell <laughs> just because you can't spell don't mean I can't spell. No, bro, right? you misspelled it. No, it because it's not a you real world word. Oh, you can't even talk. Stop, bro. Oh. Stop. I knew y'all. So I'm, trying to, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to get I'm trying to understand why you and your girlfriend would believe that Hermione is more of a best friend. Uh, she gave him seemed, more hugs? it just seemed it just seemed like Ron wasn't there. When? In some of the more like Let me ask, okay, hold on. Here's, sure, here's the real sure, question. You could uh, say here's like the real question. Here's the real question. You could here's say that question. he was enveloped by the Horcrux, but so was everybody. They all had their turn. Okay, so let me ask you this. I've already I've already asked you who picked who saved him from the Dursley's house, right? Let me ask you another question. When he tried to run away from the Weasley's house, who stopped him and got him to come back and said, We're in this together? Who the fuck did that? that he said true. he did say that. We're not doing this for you anymore. I feel like Harry. Only a real best friend. <laughs> only a real best friend <laughs> would make sure to fucking tell you that type of shit. <laughs> um yeah i mean yeah that's true that is and it, and, that and, is, and then uh putz brought up the goblet of fire who was the one who made hermione hermione tell him that such and such told such and such told such and such this to let me no tell no this. no that was some bullshit bitch move too by the way, matter. I can't believe you just he brought that sure, up. He made sure that no, he was no, friend no, enough no. to make sure that he knew that information. And, and guess what else he did? Hold the fuck on. Guess what else he did? He made sure that Harry knew about the fucking dragons. <laughs> he did. So tell me who's more of a fucking friend. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Tell me. 
Wait, but but that's that's. Oh, I thought somebody knocked on my door. Sorry. That's uh. You're basically saying that Hermione wouldn't have done the same thing if she had known the same information. She she definitely would have. But the only reason that Ron had to get Hermione to tell him was because he was on some bitch shit of 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 basically not talking to him and so figuring Hermione out exactly really, why his Hermione name was in the was Goblet of really, Fire in the first place, bro. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? The real the, if Hermione was a better friend, Hermione would have just walked up to him and be like, "Yo, this is the information that I need to give you." But no, she said. You know, let's rob Peter to pay Paul and do this. Peter Piper picked the paper. Like that's what the fuck she did. You know what I'm saying? That I, I don't. I don't know the reference. There is no way that you will ever tell me that <laughs> Ron is a better friend. In the literature, in the literature, it's a lot thicker. Like you know what I mean. In the movies, it may seem like that because you have one movie where they're friends, right, and then they end up arguing. And then you have like two movies of them kind of being cool. And then by this last, in this last movie, they end up arguing again. So it's kind of seems like a, such a rocky relationship, but in the, in the, in the books itself, it, it, it really explains where Hermione sits with Harry in comparison mm. to Ron. You know what I mean? In like, the move, it, it just seems, I, I don't know. Yeah. I guess, I guess what you're displaying or what you're saying is like the, it's just hard to track when even in the movies where they are fighting um it just seems so stupid and like why the fuck would you be friends with somebody who would fight with you on some dumb shit like this this is so stupid yeah but (laughs) what's that um in the in deathly hallows which what i didn't like that they did is that the from point a of them going on the road to point b of their argument is so short in the movie where in the book it is long like they are they have been on the road now and this horcrux has been getting to ron like you know what mm. i mean like it's getting to him now that's and, yeah that's something that they don't display because it feels like ron has it for the same amount of time as maybe a little bit longer than anybody else yeah um, they do such a good job visually of showing that it's fucking him up dog yeah, they I, they do like the bags under true. the eye. His yeah, face is they, green, yeah. His attitude it, is different. It just feels like because they even mention it in passing of like it's been months or whatever, uh, but it just doesn't feel like it's been that long. I don't think they did a good job of making you feel like oh shit, it's been a long fucking time. Because Harry even goes to talking about like his own. J.K. Rowling talks about Harry's like his own thoughts surrounding it, like in the book, and and, and even kind of goes through like the different memories of like. You know, like the subtleties of, oh, they did this, they did that. So there's a lot of actual chunk of story that you kind of miss out on. And once once all this starts kind of getting revealed, you start realizing like, oh, this shit was this is weighing on homeboy. Like he's not handling it well. And then they have this because argument. in that part of the book, too, they go back and show what's going on in Hogwarts during that time, too. Yeah. Mind you, mind you, in the movie, the good chunk of the fucking book happens after or a good chunk of the movie happens after um, they get picked up by the Snatchers, right? But Snatchers to the end of the to the end of the book, like in the actual book, is like maybe halfway through. You know, yeah, what I because mean? you still have Dumbledore's army still going strong. Mm-hmm. You have Snape as the fucking headmaster. Like you have a lot going on. The changes at the school, like all this shit that's going on. Mm-hmm. A lot of shit that's happening with Draco becoming yeah. a Death Eater. Like, there's a lot that they fucking. There's a lot. Me. There's a lot. Yeah. There's there's just so much, dude. Um, you're being yelled at to read the books, by the way, in, in, on Instagram. Who are you talking to? The only person in here that hasn't read the books. Oh, talk to me. Here, nice. how about this? How about this? I'll read the books with you. Instagram. I have a book that I have to read right now, but I'll, I'll read the I'll, books with you. Listen, I'll buy the first book. I'll wait. buy the first book. Hey, can you guys I'll try to read the first hear and see me even though I'm on the Instagram live right now? I could see. Yeah, I yeah. could hear and see you. Your Instagram live looks good, by the way. Does it? Thank you. You got Wait. mine up? I had it up for a second to make sure it looked good so I could tell you if it looked fucked up. I appreciate that. That's how I know I can trust you, Cisco. <laughs> Whoa. That's how I know. Our, our, ours look a little. Oh, my God. Who is? Um, never mind. 
<laughs> Whoa. Intrusive thoughts almost one, dude. Jesus Christ. Ah. How yours looks? Is how yours looks? Oh yeah. Pull mine up, Zero. Wait, where's where are you live? Oh, here you are. It's live on Instagram. I got you, I got you. Corpse collection. For some reason it didn't pop up. Oh, Alright, no. this is how yours looks, corpse, and then pull mine up. Oh, show it show. This, show, is, show. How we, this is how we gotta get yours to look. But we gotta figure out. Look at the difference. Damn, Damo started following me right now. That's crazy. Nah, bro. Oh! That's just a delay, bro. That's just a delay. <laughs> I like that. Look at the difference. No, bro. but genuinely, I didn't realize that I wasn't following you. That's why I was like, bro, why can't I see yours? All right, Damn, dog. This is Inception. That's crazy. How many realities was happening right now? <laughs> so many. So many. All right. Should we do this quiz before we're done with the pod? What's a quiz? Quizzical. What's a test? Isn't, isn't that what you said? Yeah, I thought that was a quizlet. We're all the quizzer of Oz. Okay, listen. Um, I, oh, but for the record, I disagree with you and your girlfriend. I apologize. I don't. Wait, for, uh, wait, Corpse, do you stand with me on this one or you stand with Damon and his girl? About the Ron and Hermione is shit? Is Hermione a better friend or is, or is who's the I form of best Damon. friend? Okay, who do you think I think is his fucking best friend, bro? Okay, listen to me, dog. No, no, no. I don't know which one. No, <laughs> just no. Guy's clan, dog. No, I what? respect the Lady Zero, but I just think that. Oh, yeah, no disrespect. No disrespect. So smoking, but, girl. But no, uh, you know. No, the, the, there's no disrespect. Uh, we we know it's all love. Um, you know that we can disagree and still be friends. What is Hermione's Patronus? What is her animal? I. Ooh, I know ooh do we get a multiple choice? Mm, I'll give you is, like uh, a minute. Eh, no. I'll give you like a minute if you can guess it. A ferret. It's a ferret. If you can guess it, I'll give you two points. If I have to give you multiple choice, it's just one. What are you going if to I guess to? it? A ferret. It if you ferret. guess it, no multiple it's choice, an otter. then it's otter. Then it's that's true. what the fuck it is. It's the otter. I knew it was something long and cut. No, bro. Like. You already said ferret, though. That's the thing. I know. I lost. I lost. But you I knew that, that it was something like long like that. But yes. Pudge got otter, two yeah. points and Cisco has zero. Got zero. Gang, gang. Oh, wait, right. chill. Uh, let me let me write the. Um, Don't be googling over there, Cisco. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. My hands right here. My hands right here. Don't be googling. I'm not. I, if I would have Googled, I would have guessed that right. True. Okay. Let me. It's Wait, it's hard because I don't. Answer help you because you didn't know at first. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought lying. it was either. I thought it was either. I was like otter or I was like a rabbit. It's like not a rabbit. Somebody I thought rabbit like, too, but Luna's is a rabbit. Luna's is a rabbit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, oof. I don't know if I should say this because me, me and Save talked about this earlier. Oh, you could rat. <laughs> Um, no, nah, I won't. The The question was, this doesn't count, but how do you free an elf? Save chill. Oh, you offer them a piece of clothes. If you don't, if you don't know that, and I yeah. feel like you can't be a Harry Potter fan at all. Yeah, you offer them an If elf. you don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> what does, what does R-A-B stand for? Regulus Ar- Artillus Black. Or Regulus or something black. I, can, I, I don't, I can't. I can't no, it is reg- Regulus... Artemis. Uh, Artemis. I'll it's say. Artemis. I'll say. If you get this middle part right, you'll do. You'll do two points. I'll take both. So you guys have already gotten one. But if you get this middle part, you get an additional two. <laughs> so both of you got Artemis. one right now. Artelius. I'm gonna say it's Artelius. A R T E L I U S. T E L I U S, yeah. I'm going to wait till you guys say lock to lock, lock in your answers. Lock. It was. But I know it's Master Regulus Black. I don't know. I just take Regulus Black. Okay. You both got the one corpse that was incorrect. What is it? What was it? Uh, I think it's Arctur- Arcturus? Arcturus Black. Arcturus. I knew it was Arc something. Arc- yeah, yeah. You guys are close. You guys are hitting that like <laughs> look close. I got. I was like, oh shit. You guys might get it. Um, hold on. But we still get a point. You do. You both get a point. All right, all right, all right. We're, 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 we're. Each. 
Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Oh my god, this is like a super question. Okay, if you guys get this right, I'll give you. Well, we'll, we'll see. What are the last three words Harry Potter I'm and Deathly? In, I'm looking this huh? up. What okay, are the say last, that again. What are the last three words in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows? Oof, that's a super question. Oh. Jesus. I don't know if you guys are gonna get. I don't if if I didn't see it, I don't think I would. I would have remembered. I just watched the movie. It's something about his uh, fuck. Uh, I think it's like we're free now or something like no. that. I d- no, I. It's something about a scar. I actually don't remember this. this is I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show. You guys don't have my live on, right? No. Okay. Everybody in the live chat, this is the answer technically. I don't know what part of this it, it comes out in though. But those are apparently the last words stated. Wait, is it the last words in the book or the movie? Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is based off of the movie. Because I know in the book he's talking about his scar and how it hasn't burned in so many years. Nah, I don't think movie? that's right. Yeah, in the right. movie, in the I believe book. so. No, book. no, but that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is it in the movie or the book? Because if it's the, if it's if it's uh, if it's the movie, the last words that are stated are "you, Albus, Severus, whatever Potter are a great wizard, and you would do great." House, happy to have you. Uh... Yeah, Gryffindor House will be happy to have you or something along those. Or have a great wizard like you or something like that. That's the last thing that's stated in the movie. Uh, yeah, he tells him you can choose what house you want to be in. The sorting hat takes your choice into consideration. Yeah. Um, Sly says you're cheating. Get him, Ooh, Sly. I'm cheating? <laughs> How am I cheating? I'm literally <laughs> looking, at, his I'm looking at this screen. I'm looking at this screen and my hands are on top of my head so you know I'm not cheating. I, spy, uh, that's why when you said spy on my life. My life is over here. I have to look over here to read the chat. Spy, spy on its life. Look, you can look look at my glasses. You can see what's in this screen. Do you see what's in the screen right here? No. It's just you guys in my camera. I have to look that way. I'm, to sorry, look at chat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is of the book. The Definitely last Hollis. three words of the book. Yes, 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 yes. I just checked. And I was like, this doesn't sound right because the setting in the movie is they're seeing off their kids to Harry Potter and it doesn't yeah. feel like it fit, but it's for the book. Okay, I got clarity. Sorry. So in the book, they're still on the they're still on the on the on the castle walkway after he breaks the wand and throws it over. Okay. And he says the fuck does, i don't know I, I there's it's hard that that was a really hard one i don't even blame either of you for not knowing it's a really i'm gonna pass. pass on this one I'm gonna okay, pass. that's fine you pass i have the next question a lot easier yeah <laughs> lot. okay let's hear it okay all was well is the last all was three, well all was well fuck <laughs> all right i didn't think you guys are gonna actually remember that's a good one no 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 uh, yeah, because I feel like I can't go. So this is an easy one. This is one point. What was the name of Hermione's cat? Crookshanks. He beat me to it. It's hard. I feel like, how do I do this? Because if one of you says it, is it just like whoever's fastest? Uh, well, I could be wrong. You're well, not. It is Crookshanks. <laughs> it yeah, is it Crookshanks. Is. So why not both of us okay. get a point? We're is going four. Good? Okay, we'll get, we'll because we could point. disagree with each other. That is true. Okay, we'll go. We'll go too. Um, all is well. All is well. That was, He's that talking was hard, about though. his scar not have been burning, and it had been some time. All is well. I was like, "Fuck! I should have known that." Like, I was so on. I was fucking dead on. Okay, ready? Which two people gift Harry? Uh, we, uh, Wait, what? Oh, which two people gift Harry with broomsticks for uh, Quidditch? Sirius and yes. Dumbledore. Yeah, Sirius and Dumbledore. No. No, 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 no. Sirius and... That's not right. 
That is also not right. Wait. I know Sirius his is Nimbus, one of them. His Nimbus 2000. Was from Dumbledore, wasn't it? Was it? Who sent him the Nimbus <laughs> Was it 2000? Dumbledore? It wasn't Professor. You already Nimbus. told me I was wrong. You already told me I was wrong. I did. I know, I but both sure, of you agreed. I know for sure. I know for sure Sirius got him the Firebolt. Sirius got him the Firebolt. Okay. I thought the I thought the Nimbus 2000 was from Dumbledore. Or Hagrid. Neither of you are getting a point at this point. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. It wasn't Lupin. If one of you guesses it, I'll give the point. Nah, 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 nah. No? It's already null, it's already null and void. Okay. Who's another person? No, no, hold on. It wasn't Lupin. It wasn't no. Hagrid. It wasn't Dumbledore. It wasn't McGonagall. Oh. No. It was um. It was McGonagall. I. That's what I was just about to say, but I don't think it was her. I think it was. Uh... It wasn't the Weasley. No, I don't know. It was. If McGonagall. it's not McGonagall, it was McGonagall. It was... Oh, okay. Because <laughs> she's the one who discovered him. Remember? Yeah. Oh man, I don't. This is all hard. Got it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe the, you guys will get it. Maybe not. What is Harry Potter's date of birth? <laughs> Fucking hell! I would never remember this. What on September? Um. September. Ooh. I think it was. Either, it's either the first or the eighth. Okay. The eighth. Okay. And then it's nineteen. 85? Let him, let him cook! Yeah. Let him cook! That was wrong. What is it? Oh. <laughs> what, what is it, though? You had me hyped up for a second. What is it? I know what it's is it? it? <laughs> let Corbs, let Corbs it. <laughs> no, I couldn't. I, I can't. I can't guess that one. Okay, that was really hard. <laughs> you were so off. It was what July 31st. <laughs> Oh, what year? What year? 1980. You were pretty close on the year, to be fair. Damn it. Yeah. This man had me high, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's no shot I got this. I was like, I was, like, I, I, I was pretty sure 1980, because he was supposed to have been 12 <laughs> in 92. Yeah. Oh, right. man. No, I thought he was, I thought he was 13 in 98. Uh. <laughs> then I remember, uh. bro. You got me so good with that one. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, you got me so good with that one. I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah, something uh. made me think September. Cause his birthday was the first day of school. Jul- uh, oh yeah, I guess July. Well, but they're in the UK. I feel like they have different like rules. Nah. Well, they're also in the Wizarding World, so. <laughs> I guess that's true. They just, well, make, they just make it up as they go, dude. In that case, they might have like extra months. Indeed. Um, let me try to find. Uh, we already went through that. Whoa, what the fuck? Did these repeat? Who's the first? Damn, that was all the questions already. No, no, no. Uh, I'm picking from like a long list because there's a bunch of them. There's like I'm literally at 114 right now. Jesus. <laughs> go to 98. Um, 69. Who's the first character to take Voldemort's name in the series? I don't know what that means. Do you guys know what that means? Say it? Yeah, to say it. Who is the first character to take Voldemort's name? I guess to say it, yeah, I guess. It was in the fucking bar. It's Hagrid. I think this... Oh, it is Hagrid. It is Hagrid. I think this might reference... I think this might reference the book, to be fair. I think this is my reference to the book, to be fair. But let me see. I'm going to do If it's the movie, it's absolutely Hagrid. Yeah. If it's the movie, it's Hagrid because he's like, I don't even know how to spell it. But who, who, but who do you think did it in the book? It was in the Three Broomsticks, wasn't it? I think in the book, it is McGonagall again. 
Was it though? Because it was Dumbledore, McGonagall, and Hagrid who dropped them off there. Was it though? I'm gonna just say Dumbledore. Here it states Ginny Weasley. What? That's what it says. I was trying to do a little bit of research. Uh, it doesn't even man. make any sense. So, but I'll give you both a point because Hagrid was the right answer for the movies. <laughs> Absolutely. Five three. Of course, it's beating me. Of course, it's beating you. Um, let me see here. He got fucking. I said ferret instead of otter. No, nope, he got that lead on you. Um, how? I, knew, ooh, I don't know. This is a one pointer. How was Hermione able to take extra lessons? In we said this time turner. Time turner. Yeah. We didn't talk about how, but we did talk about the time turner. Okay. That was a cheap one. That was a cheap question. Wait, were you already at four? Oh shit! Now I don't remember. Oh, it was five three. Now it's four six. Oh, four six. You're right. You're right. You're I'm right. Losing. Mm-mm-mm-mm. How many points do you get when catching the golden finch? Finch, snitch. snitch? Sorry. How many points do you get? I'll answer. I will answer after. I have my answer. I'll write it down if you need me to. I'll write it down. Sure. I'll say my. I'll say my answer after. Or type it in. You know what? Us. Both of you guys are. Both of you put it in the chat that we have for um, the uh, on the podcast. Oh, right? that's good. That's and then good. don't push enter until I say go. Oh, wait, corpse in the in the chat thing that we have on the right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and don't push chat. enter until or high chat. It just says show chat or high chat. No, because if I if I move that, it'll mess up everything. Chat with everyone in the studio, right? Is that what you wait? What the private chat? Yeah. We have a private. I have to. Yeah, the I private have to chat. Exit full, private I have to exit full screen to do that. Uh, oh, okay. uh, but it's fine. It's fine. All right. I believe. I think. Wait. I. Uh, I feel like you have maybe the right answer. Maybe it's all up to Putch. Is he going to keep the lead, or is he going to fumble two, the bag? There's two, there's two answers, but I, I'm going. I'm going with this one on a stretch. Oh, and there's this. only one answer of how many points you get. You win the game if you catch it. Mm-hmm. It's over. I mean, no, no, the game is over if you catch it. Yeah, you that doesn't mean you lose. win. Yeah, you could still lose. Yeah, I'm ready. Right, are we pressing enter? Go ready? for it. One, two, One, two three. three. Oh, save gets it. Ah, 150. It's a W. It is a 150 points you get. Fuck. Y'all tell me when you want to tap out, by the way. Wait, this is already, it's already 10. How about first to twelve? First or to twelve. Make the next one sudden death. Make the next one sudden. Death. Well, I'll do. We'll do. We'll do. Okay. Okay. We'll do. We'll do sudden death. We'll do, fuck. It has to be. Does it have to be a hard one then? Yes. Um. Yeah. It's gotta be stupid hard. <laughs> what is Snape's snake's name? And this is not fair because I'm I only mean, down by Voldemort. one point. Okay. I guess. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I said, I'm "What is what is Voldemort Snake's name?" You're asking a fucking Death Eater over here what fucking Nagini's name is. Get the fuck out of here! If it's anything Slytherin or Voldemort related, Corpse is getting it. Um, for Harry's seventeenth birthday, what color did Hermione turn the leaves for Weasley's uh car car? You don't even fucking know. Ask a different question. <laughs> anyway. Seventeenth birthday. That would have been. Sorry, crab apple. I'm so sorry. I kept seeing that as a P. Uh, Weasley's crab apple tree. Sorry, I'll read it again. For Harry's seventeenth birthday, what color did Hermione turn the leaves of the uh, of the Weasley's crab apple tree? In the chat or what? <laughs> yeah, I guess if you guys fucking know, I'll I say no idea. this is so specific. I will give this three points for sudden death. This will this will bring save out of the gutter and get get him on top, but this will only further Putch's lead. So I'm, I'm taking a wild guess at this sudden one. Sudden death. I'm ready. Right here, right now. Tell me when both of you are locked in. <laughs> Don't Google it, Cisco. Tell me when both of you are locked <laughs> in. I'm ready. 
Okay, Googling it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Both of you are wrong. Fuck. <laughs> what color was it? Was it? Gold. I knew it. <laughs> Dude, I, I was going to say yellow, actually. So I don't want to get too, too carried away. <laughs> one more. Uh, what Hello. does owl stand for? Oh my god. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh shit. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I didn't know I don't know if I was gonna know. Just for sudden death. Let me know. Let me know. Owl, the acronym O W L stands for I know it's something like I don't know. I don't it know. Is this a, is I will so because this is so specific. Is it fair to take whoever's the closest? I don't know if it's fair. I'll give one point for every correct word that you put in there. All right. You know, it's only three words. You can't be putting all these fucking words. It's only three I words. Remember, I don't remember what it is, but this is what I thought it was. This if you put... Came to mind immediately. Okay, both of you got it locked? Yes. Yeah, I'm ready to press enter. Three, two, one, go. Outstanding wizard learning by save outstanding wizarding <laughs> level <laughs> the correct uh what what owl stands for the correct answer is ordinary Fuck. wizarding level yes oh, so we both got one point no 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 punch got two points wizarding oh. level man if this ain't some <laughs> bullshit let me tell you <laughs> So Pudge and wins. I get a redemption. Can I get a redemption? A, a redemption question? Or ordinary wizarding level? Is that what it was? Ordinary wizarding level. Man, that sounds like some absolute <laughs> fucking bullshit to me, dog. <laughs> All right, boys. It was lessons. All right, you guys. I don't know if you want one more. I have a pretty. I think there's one for one more. But Corps, let's do one more. Corps, one more, just for the fucking. All right, one more. One more, one more. And okay. then we'll close it out. What is Voldemort's mother's name? Uh, oh my god, I should know this. <laughs> got this one. You don't got this one? I don't. I don't remember it. I, I pass. I don't remember the bitch's name. I don't. Remember. I don't know how you pronounce it. See, how how do you not know? even a guess? No, I. I'm not even gonna try. Try uh, it. Try it, demo. Uh, Mirope. M e r o p e. Yeah. Yeah. Mirope Riddle. I, I have no idea. You gotta give us one more, dog. I knew it was a um, name, dude. What? Ah. I, what does? Uh, what does? Wait, what? What does the Hogwarts motto? Never mind. That one. No, I'm not reading that shit. Um, this one's so specific. Do you guys want like moderately hard or pretty fucking hard? Give us one. Just give us one that you think is tough, but that one of us will know. The Voldemort's mama was a good one. I should, I should have known that. I thought, I thought for sure, Corpse got that one, bro. I thought for sure, Corpse got that one. Fuck. I dropped the ball. This is some, this is some hardcore Harry Potter shit, bro. Yo, they went in on this questionnaire. Yeah. I'm trying to find one that isn't too like one of them was what was what did Hagrid get uh Harry for like a flavor of ice cream? And it was chocolate and raspberry. I was like, bro, who the fuck would remember this? When did they get ice cream? I really don't know. <laughs> when the fuck did we get ice cream? <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> when the fuck did we get ice cream? When the fuck did we get ice cream? That's one of the best fucking scenes from movie history. Um, do you guys know what moon, uh, monk, monk should and wolf Spain? Do you know what those are? Yes. They're plants. Do you guys both know what they are? Yes. I know what wolf Spain is. So wolf Spain and maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Monks should monks oh, should. Got it. Uh, the question is, monks should and wolfsbane are the same plant. They are also known as what? Lily? That might be too difficult. 
Is it not Lily? It's not Lily. What is it? Monks should and Wolfsbane. Oh, he's asking for the answer. Oh, what is it? Yeah. Uh, Aconite? No, that has something. I, that is something that deals with with uh, really though. There's a there's a reason that they, he says that. There's a reason that Snape says that. It's it's during it's during book three. Wolf's bane was used to repel the the lichen the lichen virus. Oh, I think this is a good one actually. Why was the why was the Whomping willows originally planted? Oh, this is a pretty deep cut, though. Why I was I don't it... know the answer to that one. I don't know the answer to that one. It was, it wasn't it planted to guard the entrance to the to the shrieking shack, where they would let Lupin go to transform. No, that was yeah. way after, wasn't it? Actually, yeah, yeah, that's what it states. Yeah. What does it say right there? <laughs> to help Remus Lupin escape Hogwarts when he needed to turn into a werewolf. Yeah. That's how that. <laughs> that's how that <laughs> dead on. The shrieking shack that they would see, they would always hear somebody in there screaming and yelling. And what it was. Yeah, it was I know that Lupin was there, but I didn't know that's why they planted the, the Whomping Willow. That's... Yeah, the shrieking shack had a secret entrance that led to the underneath of the Whomping Willow. And Peter Pettigrew used to be so small. That he could hit a part of the root that would make the the tree freeze. Cool. Well, listen. Oh, hey, GGs. It's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure. You got me, dog. That was good. Yeah. That was good. Those are some hard questions. I'm surprised some you knew hard. some of them. Yeah, some of them are. Um, but thank you for entertaining the, Damn, the ordinary wizarding levels. That was the one. The only reason I know vaguely what it means is because in um we won't go into this too much. I think it's um. Order of the Phoenix. They talk about yeah, Order of the Phoenix. their wizard. They're, they're, they're like, oh, we're not even studying for our owls. And I think they have it written on the board what owls stand for. Well, oh, they I also think she even says owls. it. Well, you can get an outstanding in your ordinary wizarding level. That's why, why I put outstanding. Yeah, yeah that's why. Yeah, they, they oh, take the owls right. in the main yeah. hall. Yeah. That's where they're yeah. all there. That's when the, the Weasleys come in on their brooms and fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. everything out of the water. Well, yeah. he 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 tells her too about the potions class. He's like, I I was supposed to have made an outstanding in my owls, and she tells him, Well, Slughorn mm. will accept those who who scored this, and I don't know why I didn't think of that a little a little more, but whatever. It's all good. Damn. You should have asked like, what did Dolores make Harry write over and over? Oh, that would have been a good one. I will I not shall, tell what lies. is that? Like, I shall not tell lies I or will, something. I will not tell lies. That was a good one. That was, that was good. pretty good, Corbs. You got me on that last one, dog. That was fucking good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a good one. I I'm surprised you knew that. I I probably wouldn't have remembered it. Did you know? Did you know that if any Muggle walked in that area near Hogsmeade, where you can see Hogwarts, they can't see it. Yeah. They just see a mountain. What happens if you just go towards it though? The it says, there's an area that says "Do not enter." Oh, what if some dipshit just keeps going? I don't know. That's a good question. That'd be interesting. Alrighty, I know both of you. Everybody has to go to bed. I appreciate you guys. I don't. I'm gonna this. play video games. I think. Bro, we have to get. We have to be awake at the same time. I know, and I, you know, <laughs> I I don't need eight hours of sleep like you do. I do. I need my eight hours. You don't get eight hours. You go to sleep at like eleven thirty, and you get up at five forty. I don't get up at five. All right, we're not gonna do this right now. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Who's the most everybody. sus out of us three is what definitely, definitely Cisco. Absolutely Cisco. Cisco definitely said he would put a butt plug in. So, <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> that is <laughs> sus. That, that is, is so true. Wait, where's the context? <laughs> I mean, the context is there, buddy. What do you mean? That is the context. Somebody posted on my kick and says, all three of you look like you're gay together. Thank hey, you very much. For that's that. okay, buddy. I see BM up your ass. Okay. Nice. Thanks. Um, listen, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Um, thank you guys for entertaining this. I, I just came off the tail end of watching Harry Potter, and I just wanted to chat especially because you guys have such knowledge on it so i appreciate you guys 
um, entertaining the idea of doing a podcast about it, you know? Oh, so, yeah. That was really cool. It was really cool. Definitely. I can't believe you just called me out for saying, like, I'm live on everything, bro. They can't just. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, go watch some of the older episodes. Go ahead, watch that. There you go. Exactly. That's what you should say. Like, that's true. It's probably saved. Go watch some of the older episodes. He might have said some outlandish shit. Haha. No, just fucking (laughs) straight up. This motherfucker's ready to go put a fucking butt plug up his ass. I did not say that. (laughs) That's not what I said. That's out of context, okay? Fuck. There's a little more context. Oh my god! There's a lot Not more context to it. There's a little more context. There was like two and There's a half a more. With the There's a two and a half inches more of context. <laughs> no, this was a good episode. I had fun. It was yeah. really cool. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you guys had fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. We're gonna get back to the nitty gritty next week, though. Wait, what? We're getting back to the nitty gritty next week, bro. I'm trying to get you two to argue next week. Me and Corpse, we can't, bro. We're loving souls. I might uh, need to take the next two weeks off. <laughs> Whoa, two weeks? Yes. Why? My son is. Going, my son's going to be visiting me in North Carolina. Oh, that's. Oh, nice. okay. Yeah. yeah, so, oh, yeah Wait, like completely? Oh, like you can't move it, or you? Well, you need a. You need to disconnect I'm, for a while. I'm disconnecting. That's cool, man. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Sorry. And two weeks. No, you're good. Is wild. Wait, when, is, like, is this track. a for sure thing? Um, at least until January ish. Oh, whoa, ish. It's December nineteenth. Yeah. Okay, here's what we'll do, Zero. We'll just have a guest next week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait, that but you are sad. the one who does the stream yard. Oh, that's right. Okay. Fuck. Uh, uh, we'll figure it out. Hey, uh, there could be a, missing files, bro. It's okay. We could we could probably have a. a I know, Discord. but two weeks is crazy. We'll fi- yeah. we'll figure something out. We'll we'll chat about it. Um, but no, I hope you enjoy your time, man. That's I mean that's good. You know, enjoy your time. Be safe. I yeah, I want you to enjoy your time. I haven't been home since before October before Halloween, so um, this rotation yeah. home, I'm not doing shit. Wait, where's be- home? Are you talking about North Carolina? Or are you talking about here? North Carolina, North Carolina. Yeah, that's home now, baby. You coming back home? You coming back home, baby? Uh, negatory there, Captain. Uh, you never yeah, know. I, I just can't. I can't. It's too. It's just too expensive out there, bro. Can't say it's it's hard. Hard. If I can make it, you can make it. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm barely making it. Yeah, if I, I can make it. Like you that. can make it. I can't live like that. I can. If I can make it. You can make it. All we gotta do is stay single, not go out, not spend money on. <laughs> Dumb shit. Keep potting. And hope for this Audible and Jordan Peterson sponsorship. Uh, sponsorship. The check, the check to come out. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta wait for the checks, baby. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate it. That's been the usual Tuesday podcast. I thank my co-host, Corpse. Did you guys hear that? My dog? She's so happy that I'm about to go lay down. I thank my wonderful co-host Corpse and my handsome co-host Zero. Jesus, I can't even fucking talk. Um, whether you guys are watching on Instagram, Kick, YouTube, or Facebook, listening tomorrow on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever the fuck else you get your fucking podcast. Thank you guys so much. Um, to my community, Saves community, to my community, Corpse's community, Zero's community. Thank you guys so much. As always. Stay healthy, stay happy. I love you guys. Keep smiling, and we will see you guys on the next one. My man Save is speaking in third person, living in the first. (laughs) Whoa. Second person. (laughs) Hey, it's Big Corpse, corpsecollection.com. Y'all know the drill. Yeah, my guys, Save and 1%. 1%, fucking 0%. 0%. Damn. God damn. <laughs> Yo, I'm doing oh, stuff these days, I guess. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Play a little up. effort. <laughs> damn, you the upgrade, 1%. I know, bro, damn. Oh, Relax, because then they're going to start expecting shit, okay? <laughs> hey, my man, 0%. Dude, awesome topic. I fucking love Harry Potter, bro, so definitely thank you. Um, Thank you, everybody who's watched. You guys know I always do my, my weekly sign-off. Um. 
I don't have really like like any kind of saying, but again, it's it's the holiday season. Yeah, uh, this time last year, uh, my brother in law passed away on Christmas Day. Yeah, so Christmas mm-hmm. is going to look weird for my family. Um, so like, just try to be there for people who may not have. Yeah, there's a lot of single single people living in California who are trying to chase a dream. They might not have family. Like, reach out to them. Yeah, reach out to anybody who might be without. Um, and just try to spread that holiday cheer. Yeah, it's a time to be happy and, and rejoice. Yeah, and get ready for the new year. All that good stuff. Yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, week, month of your life. Potentially see you in 2024, you fucking filthy animals. So, love y'all. Wait, here's Wait. the real question. Real Do facts. I say something? Because, oh, never mind. Never mind. I was going to say, <clears throat> Christmas falls on Tuesday and... January 1st falls on Tuesday, but they don't. So, no, they don't. Uh, they're, they're both Wednesday. Uh, sorry, they're both Tuesday. Mondays. Mondays, yeah. But, um, mm. much love, guys. Listen, if I don't see yeah, you, we'll ports, happy holidays. You're loved. Thank you for being a part Man, of this. Like we don't have our own group chat. That we Shut up, bro. I'm having a moment. Each other. <laughs> but I hope you have a really safe right. time, man. Be safe. Have fun. Much love. Of course, if I don't see you, if I don't talk to you, I love you. All of a sudden, bro, he wants to write on my on my <laughs> like shut the love fuck up. Just, just know Zero and I take lunches together. We hold hands. I know. We all see each other all the time. We eat lunch together. We feed each other. Yeah, true. We talk about what we would put in our asses. That's not true. Interesting. Well, we it's talk about what he'd put in. And I say no, like no, no, no. stop. Uh, I say stop and he keeps no. going. It gets bigger yeah. every day, dog. It's it's worrisome. <laughs> I'm out of here. I love you guys. Bye. All right. Be safe. All right. Y'all be good, man. Peace. Peace. Usual Tuesday podcast. Y'all know the deal.